Anybody read it? Or anybody reading it? You just get all of them. All of them come. You just send a donation to that cash app, and I send all of them. So, some people are like, how much to send? I like, send whatever you want to send. It's Mark's spot. Oh dear. It's a big book. Got a lot of stuff in it. Y'all want me to read some of it to y'all? Or what? If y'all notice, the cover is actually a pyramid from the aerial view. Yeah, if you need the 10th and 11th, then um, hit up Mrs. Spades, DM her. <sighs> Make sure you send a um, screenshot of your donation. Make sure you send a screenshot of your donation and your email. When you do it, if you just did it, my shit fucking up. Hold on, y'all. That's the way I feel it should be. Y'all take one on one over half and half, or half and half over one on one. The TV show. You can become whatever you want. Y'all can start the fast. Like I said, I ain't even announced it yet. But if you want to start doing it, yeah. But I want to announce it so everybody can be on one accord. <laughs> Talk about the song. Five are wise, five are foolish. Do you understand? So this is how it start off. All of you dedicated and willing torchbearers, read these words with your hearts and minds open. A word from divine. A tone from all called by many, God. I ask for this word for you. All who read these words and all who hear these words, let it be known in this moment. Everlasting. The words of this scroll have not reached you by accident. Say to yourself, 
that you might brace the soul for these words from divine. I am open to receive and envision that potent green light all about or around you. Take a deep breath and hold it for nine seconds. Count those seconds up in your mind and then excel. I do advise the all of you to hear me for these words are true and faithful. Begin transmission. I want you all to know just how much I love you. You may not know me at all, or you may not. I say what? You may not know me at all. Oh, my shit glitching. You may not know me at all, or you may have only seen me over here or over there. I may have, we may have never spoken. This may be the first time you've heard my voice. How does it sound in your mind, in your brain, I wonder? Where is my voice streaming from? Is it echoing around in the furthermost point of the left side of your brain, or is it reverberating about in the furthermost point of the right side of your brain? Either way, I have always found it quite interesting how human beings are able to hear sounds in their brains. I also find it interesting that it has been said that not every person can hear that which is called the inner voice. I find that hard to fathom personally. I have heard that voice all my life, and I simply cannot imagine how this life would be without it. And so, reader, I wonder if you can hear me. Even if you have never heard me speak before, you still may be able to hear that voice. Why? This is because that voice is a universal voice. It is, in all actuality, the voice of God. I wonder if you can hear God speaking. I can. The voice is indeed the voice that cries out in the silence. That voice can whisper. It can scream. It can sing. It can hum. It can mumble. Truly, it can move in either both the feminine and or the masculine frequency. Again, I wonder how I sound to you. I also wonder how you would sound to me if you were to ever write me. What I am getting at here is that we are all collectively one voice. We are all one sound connected by an infinite force, namely our approachiveness. The con is over. All right, so you know we're going to get into more of the uh, uh, breaking down. It won't be no content. It'll be protent. It ain't consciousness, it's consciousness. All right, it's already been announced. The con, the con is over. Taking on many different forms, creating the grandest illusion that is individuality. We are all connected. I do not have to know you to love you. I want to talk with you more about my love for you. I love you so much that I am taking the time to literally write this letter to you. I am, in this moment, listening to the voice of God. I can hear the voice clearly. It keeps saying the word love. I am asking what is meant by the word love. The answer is clear. The answer is the word proceduration. I am here in this now, which is yet the now you will stand in to receive what I am hearing, to remind you about your soul. What a lost world it has forgotten. In this now, we are taking into proceduration that you are in the flesh. The flesh is very forgetful. You have forgotten. Just because you don't have approaches recollection does not mean that there does not, without a, a doubt, exist the memory of your divinity in your essence. I am here to remind you, we are proceeding your present state. We are proceeding that there is a portion of you that wants love. We are reaching out to that portion of you. Here is a task for you. Take a deep breath and hold it for nine seconds before you exhale. Visualize the color green. When you envision that color, smile. Think of how you felt in your happiest moments in life. Think of when you had no reason to be afraid of anybody or anything. Ponder about the reality of your innocence, inner sense. You must know this truth. Without your inner sense, you will not be able to reunite, become one, uni with, again, Ray, your soul. The formula for being. Who are you plus what are you equals why are you? This is how you find the way back home, which is the tone OM. Listen, wise ones, to the voice of God. You may realize that it is actually your own voice. The voice is calling out to you. Know this truth, that he who was called in tone Omari 
will only be here for but a short time. Do you not know just by the windy signs alone that he has come many times before? Who does not know? Oh, let them know. Here is He is here now, but not for long. Hear him. We are speaking to you through him. Hear us. We, the ones you call God, Elohim, are using Omari, called phase one, to remind you once again. How do you know this? In the late shadow hours while you were resting, he sat up and kept watch over you. He fell on his face in the night and prayed for more time with you that you might be reminded once more. He cried of many tears like twinkling stars about you and your families and even his enemies who surely have hell to taste. He cried stars for them also. His music he did not write of his own accord. He gave us his pen and we did write. We, God, through his soul, wrote every lyric you ever heard. We are his ghost writers, yet we're not ghosts, but beings of light called Ethereans or angels. We are his etheric writers and know that he, phase one, does not produce a song of any kind without first prostrating his soul. Listen to his music. Pick any song. Surely he has been calling you all home, all of you, together. Let the torchbearers, the, the wise ones, the holders of the rope know that we love you all. Oh, let them all know that only the pure hearts will ascend. Pure hearts only. Love. We love you. I love myself. I love and appreciate the human experience. In this very moment, I can feel the love of divine. Very true, I tell you these words. Divine love is the key. Remember that the word divine is phonetically similar to the word the vine, which is the rope or the cord, which is also called the cable toe. Do go and look in the holy book, the Quran, and read Surah chapter 3, ayah verse 103. And hold firmly to the rope of Allah altogether, and do not become divided. And remember the favor of Allah upon you when you were enemies, and he brought your hearts together, and you became, by his favor, brothers. And you were on the edge of a pit of fire, and he saved you from it. You and I are to hold on to the rope altogether. Is it not so that we are all a part of God's body? I love you. As I am writing this letter, I am 25 in years. I have only been here for 25 years. Only. My existence as Omari called by many phase one has not even been all of three decades. I, as I am to you right now, reader, am but a flash in the pot. Even as I am yet an infinite soul, that soul is in a flesh body in this moment. That body has a heart, kidneys, lungs, a liver, a brain. It is the brain that is the control center of the body. Without the brain, who am I? Without the brain, even if you knew the answer to the former question to be able to tell me the answer, how would I know to receive or to not receive the answer? How would I even fathom your response? Oh, when I make my transition, then do I live on through you? When you read these words, am I alive in that moment? As we are all connected, is not life as we know it an infinite phenomenon? Is not life everlasting? We are experiencing life through each other. We have no doubt in our minds that when you open this scroll and read these words, if it is meant, you will know that these words are charged with wisdom, patience, care, procern, and love. I want you to remember, reader, if you're able to, when you were a child. I want you to remember, reader, how it felt for you to learn how to draw a circle or a square for what you believe to be the first time. Think back on how it felt to write your first letter, which for most English speaking people was the letter A or A. Go back in your mind and remember when you were first taught how to count from one to 10. Were not these moments bright and full of life and joy? Do you have it in you to be able to reactivate that youthful version of yourself? Could you muster up the Mashiach, which is the will, in you to reform the adult brain? Spawning or respawning that which is called your neuroplasticity? The answer is yes, if you were, are willing to care again. Your willingness to care actually aids in your ability to ascend. When you care about a subject, you may be more invested. And it's your being invested in a thing that heightens your senses, increasing the amount of information that is allowed to register in your brain. 
You can observe this when you witness the dilation of pupils of people who are beholding a thing that they admire or are either attracted to or interested in. Taking in more light when the pupil dilates allows for more details to be able to get through to the brain. Increased details register amounts to increase increased details registers amounts to increased retention or enhanced memory. This is the type of mindset you must have in order to receive the downloads, the uploads and the upgrades that are necessary for your ascension. This is what is meant by that saying. You must be born again. Oh, you must. If you were reached as a child, there are already upgrades that you have received. Do know that it would have been easier to reach you in those days of your youth. As you grew older, you, the most of you, became less and less interested in the why of life. All of that pure curiosity begins fading for most people around the ages of 7 to 10. Right before the explosion of puberty, where the hormones activate and without proper guidance, by the age of 16, that person will lose themselves. Most people are taught into settling and integrating into the mold. There is an offer. Change your mind. Repent. You do not have to be selfish. Will you proceed a homeless man or woman resting on the side of the street? Oh, you can take a small heap of seconds to care about them. Think back on how it feels when you help or have helped people in the past. Does it not feel like that is the way human beings are supposed to walk in their lives? Human beings have to learn to see each other and love each other, and they must be willing to look after each other. Human beings as a whole must decide on whether or not they even feel that they deserve to exist. Whether I said, human beings must choose or conduct or more importantly, elect themselves. Once they do, and if they do, if they do it with truth, life and way in mind, there will be no force on, above or beneath the earth plane that could cause them to fall, proving them, the human beings who fail, to be what the evil one wants them to be, which is unworthy. Have I not told you before that you are worthy? Oh, let it be known that the only one who can cause you to reject that truth is you. For you to be reading these words at this particular point in time as who you are after all this time and after everything you've gone through is a divine sign within itself. What are the eyes? What are the evens? There is no coincidence. Perfect timing. All of the sciences and philosophies and ideologies and beliefs and thoughts and customs and traditions and fraternities and sororities and orders and religions of your ancestors are a part of you. The way you are taking in this information or these words depends upon whether whatever genetic foundation you either possess or don't possess. If you are able to hear us, you were destined to be able to hear us. We are not only speaking to you through colors, events, names, and songs, but birds, numbers, people, etc. Pay attention. Pay more attention. Pay even more attention. The more attentive you are, the better. The more present you are, the clearer our voices will be. Our voice voices are calling you home. Home in this regard is an ultimate sound ultimate and sound realization. That realization is that the material plane that you are currently experiencing is not the end all be all. Even though many do not reach that realization, they're not being able to reach or realize that truth is what causes them to neglect the responsibility to seek out that truth's purpose. That purpose serves as a motivator for one to be able to take the next steps up that ladder Anyone who rejects or denies the true lights have only rejected and denied themselves a version of themselves that they know not and could not have known without that true light being sent out into the world. Accept the journey of the seeker, if you will. Have you ever heard the story about the man who outran time? Me either. Do not fall into the trap that is the illusion of experiencing forever while in his human form. Time, if anything, will outrun humanity. It will never, ever be the other way around. Why do I say this? I want you to keep in mind the fact that I have already let it be known the importance of time. Remember my song, a song that was released on the Blood of the Lamb album called We Had Time. 
That song is speaking from what is called the future, a tone that has called the now to attention. I am reminding you from the future about the future, which is the now, as it will be the now, not when you reach it, but when you realize it. And it has already been made real to me. No one will be able to escape the hands of time, save those who are able to endure unto the end. Oh, we have already seen the time has sped up. Do be cautious about your standing in these times. If time has sped up, so has your realm of existence heated up and expanded. Remember the time. Time and space are one. Where will you be in that day of standing? Will you be in that holy place, the shrine? Will you be centered with the hands of time turning about you? Will you be sorry for the weight? All right. And if you got the book, you see how it's spelled weight. It's W-E-I-G-H-T. A dreadful day that would be. Will you be standing in the light? What does it mean to travel light? You must become lighter. How light? Lighter. Oh, hold on to that filament and be charged with the spirit of righteousness, which is true balance. I have no doubt that if you just keep walking on and on, you will be led to become even lighter and then lighter that you may rise. Very true, I say to you. Moving in righteousness will become second nature and then first nature. It will be so for us all. Know it to be true. The lighter you become, the lighter you will will to be. That lightness and that will to increase in light will thus spread to all of the people you encounter. What a gift they will have. They will be able to say they were called. You will be responsible for calling them just as I am responsible for calling you. Many are called. How many are elected? Remember the time. Pay attention to the signs of the times. You may notice that many have already started doing that. They will say, wow, it's 1212 or oh, look, it's 144. On February 14th of 2024, the artist called Chris Brown released a music video to his song entitled Angel Numbers. The science of traveling light is, so, is shown therein. Chris Brown, Angel Numbers music video. I showed the uh, image of it. In the music video, Chris Brown was carrying a bag through the desert. This would be symbolic of the burning sands that all travelers have to cross in order to receive their higher degrees. Think of heat when you think degrees. As one increases in their degrees, they also increase in their temperature or their heat. They become hotter or electrified. All elite have endured this process in one way or another. Every traveler knows that they are supposed to travel light. What do you think? What are you taking with you? into your new life. You are Neo, which means you are on the journey as one to become new. Neo equals new. Oh, you cannot take the things of old along with you. As I viewed the music video, beholding Chris Brown carrying most, mostly dragging the bag across the sand, I immediately said to myself, that's too much weight. Eventually, Chris Br Brown had to let go of the bag as it was literally holding him back. His children were waiting on him, standing away from him, far away from him, facing him. He could not get to where they were whilst holding on to all of the baggage he collected over time. Note that, his, that this signifies that his children were light beings. They weren't carrying too much weight. They didn't have to wait any longer. Their time had come to rise and his time would not have come if he was too heavy. You cannot outrun time. You want to be on time, trust me, so that when your time comes, when your space is prepared, is prepared, you won't miss it. Oh, I pray in my heart right now that you're in the mental space to understand these true words. Oh, let it be known that those chosen ones who are called the 144,000 are to be redeemed from among men. Yes, but those 144,000 are not the majority of them adults. They are not the most of them men or women, but boys and girls. Why? Oh, let it be known that we have saved space for the innocent ones. Oh, but not many spaces there are. As there is not much time. There is still time, but there is not much. There is still space, but there is not much. Who will ascend? Have you made your children collectible? Why would the wise sailor overwhelm his ship with dead weight? 
He does know the consequence of such folly, does he not? Or let it be known that we, speaking with you now as Omari, called phase one, are the wise sailors, and we have no room for any dead weight. We are perfected through the cultivation of the minds of as well as the preservation of the innocence of the children. All of you who have given birth to children and those who participated in the yielding of children know that you are rebirthed through your children. It is not as is it not an important goal of goals to be achieved that each generation grows stronger and wiser. Teach the children all about the world that they are coming into themselves and they may reveal to the world that they too are philosophers. Philo, love, sophos, wisdom, philosophers. Teach the children that wisdom, even as it is a single term, is a word of many appellations. With love in their hearts, their centers, they will come to know her many names. They will know his many titles. Place before them the holy books yet, for they will need to know of them as these were the tools that were used to construct as well as deconstruct various realities. Expose the youth to the divine tones of 144 hertz, 432 hertz, 528 hertz, etc. Show the children how to meditate, which is to say, teach the children how to access bliss in their center. Medi, Tate. Medi equals middle or center. Tate equals cheerful. To teach the children to meditate is to, teach to, is to teach the children to access the kingdom of God that's within them. As Medi does mean in the middle and Tate in Hebrew does mean father. Where is the father? It has been said that the father is in heaven. There is heaven within and heaven without. There is the kingdom of God within and God's kingdom without. All of those young people, your children, our children, who are able to receive the science of meditation will, will evolve into people of great composure. Do treat your perfecting yourself through your children who are our children, who are the children of your future, which is our future, which is the future, as it is an important project. Carry your task of generational invigoration as if it were an important project being transported across the marble floors of the most prestigious of science fairs. Truly, this affair or work of becoming stronger in your generations that you may be made free is an affair that is directly powered by what you know. Science equals to know. Fair is an affair or affare, meaning work or to do. Do not you have the will to reclaim for now and for generations to come your power? You will accomplish this by actively utilizing the jewels that you that have been bestowed upon you all for ages to carry out the necessary works. This gem or jewel of activating of actively utilizing the jewels you have received over time is actually scientific in nature. When you speak the term jewels aloud, you will observe that it is the phonetic equivocal of the term jewels. Scientifically speaking, a jewel is the international system of units or SI derived unit that is used to energy or work or used for energy or work. Keep in mind that energy is a measure of the capacity to do work and that a single jewel is equal to the work done by a force of one Newton acting over the distance of one meter. That work that is done is equal to the energy that is expended throughout that occurrence. The Newton is the SI unit of force, a single Newton being equal to the amount of force that is required to accelerate an object with a mass of one kilogram at a rate of one meter per second per second. Do note that when a person lifts a thing, they are doing work. Carrying that lifted thing is not work. Raising that thing to place it on an elevated plane is work. Raising your children, our children, the children is work. Do not be confused about what is meant by carrying out works. Do not simply carry those jewels or jewels. Put those jewels or jewels to work. That is how we all will go about reclaiming that long lost power. We all have to collectively put in work over time. Oh, let it be explained that the formula for power is power equals work over time. 
It is no accident that the SI unit of measure of power is called the watt. Named after a mechanical engineer and Scottish inventor who is credited with the inventing of the steam engine. James Watt. The name Watt has its origins in the name Walter. Walter means powerful ruler. I see. Can you see? The gem is that a ruler isn't only a lord or a captain or a chief or a governor or a god. A ruler is also a tool used for measuring. Electricity is measured in units of power or watts. Oh, for so long, we have measured the material plane in search of the elect. Who would be able to rule on planet Earth if all fell or if all fell? You must continue to rise up. Yes, we may have fallen astray humanity in the past. This does not mean that the children are inevitably doomed to fall astray also. Our children are literally our future. Just because humanity has fallen in the past does not mean that humanity has to fall perpetually. You have to continue to elevate and you must elevate on time. You, we, are all responsible for this great work. You, we, torchbearers, be of the wise and bring plenty oil along with you. I want, I want to introduce you to your twin, your doppelganger, whose name is Soul. Your body and soul are partners charged with the task of taking you as all to a higher plane in which you will live without pain and suffering as the pain and suffering is a result of one's attachment to the world and the effect of one's seeking of pleasure. Do you want to meet soul? Soul has been ever eager to meet you ever since the day of your birth, but naturally you have been distracted by what is referred to as everyday life, eating, sleeping, working, crying, laughing, entertaining oneself, playing, lazing, stressing, scheming. Soul has been right there with you the whole time you've been here on and in the earth. Soul has been calling you by the day, by the hour, by the minute, by the second, the first. Can you hear the soul? I can introduce you two to one another as soon as today. Why wait? Soul will save you. If you wish to meet your soul, you have to speed up. You cannot go slow. You must go fast. No, really. I mean that you must literally go fast. Fast for three days. The enduring of those three days without food, bad music, sex, orgasm, masturbation, hate, etc., will surely activate the introduction to the soul journey. Denying the body food alone will cause for your soul to receive a message that says, I am more than my body. I said, think of this. When someone is starved, rather by choice, by force, or by uh, circumstance, they are in all truth, taking steps toward death, a realm elusive. With each moment that passes without food alone, the body is preparing, making way for the transition of soul. If one doesn't eat after about 40 days, they will most likely pass away. I said, thus, any fasting at all is a step toward the elusive state of post-life, which is indeed still life. It just isn't life as human beings know it. For the ones who are at peace within themselves, death has no sting. They, the shallow mean, the ones of peace, have assumed the position of the central resonator. They have all, the shallow mean, taken in great breaths, holding that breath like a newborn child with love, care, and yes, plenty of proceduration. They, the shallow mean, rested at that feet, at the feet of this delicate breath, and they all willingly brace the imagination of the negative, negative is negative, the cold is cold. The chilliest chill, the freeziest freeze. 32 degrees in nature, where death lives and perfects its mold. Oh, the cold does sting. And so the shallow meme have all learned to step outside of the nervous system's reception of that cold. This is how they have avoided the sting of death. There is no string. There is no sting if I do not receive it, seeing the shallow meme. What a truth. Why should those who have placed the garb of peace upon their bodies be afraid of death? Their new true reality, new true reality, repels all ills. They rejoice. 
for the ones who have accepted that there is a sound, a multicolored sound, and its emitter is called life. They have accepted that not all sounds last forever, as each color of the sound has its own time of amassing and passing. I said each color of the sound has an in and out about itself. Each color of the sound has its proof of existence once beheld and does cease to exist where there exists no beholder. There is ample favor for those who have assumed the position of the central resonator. They have all, the shallow mean, released a powerful gust of wind from their soul and exhale, and they did exit hell. Yet they came back with hopes to involve those who have not found the dot, that holy place or shrine. All of the shallow meme have danced around the crown of that lingering squall. They have all braced themselves. They have all braced the imagination of the positivist positive, the hottest hot, the steamiest steam, the blaziest blaze, 212 degrees in nature, where life floats and retires its shadow. Oh, the hot does burn. Therefore, the shallow meme have all learned to swim outside the nervous system's reception of that heat. Very true, I tell you. This is the way that they have all taken to avoid the burn of life. There is no burn if I do not receive it, sing the shallow meme. True indeed. Just why would those who have placed the crown of release upon their heads be afraid of life? Their testimonial, test Iman E L. All right, testimonial is test. All right, Iman is faith and L is God. Testimonial, test Iman E L. Attracts all heals. They are free. Has your faith in God been tested? Oh, most, if they were to think deeply enough, would say that they have had their faith tested. Can they all see it? It is no difficult task to love someone when you are in agreement with them. It is when there presents itself a disagreement of any kind between the two of you that the love is truly challenged, as if the disagreement stops that love at the gates and asks, and with the voice of many thunders, where is your identification card? Those screenings are the moments of truth. As you are asked whether or not your love can withstand the test of times, you are also asked whether or not your faith can stand the test of times. Is the righteous one only righteous by circumstance? Or are they centered enough to maintain their being righteous regardless of the circumstances? Oh, you must work diligently to remain centered, especially in these days, for the evil ones are lurking, waiting to possess the unsuspecting. Fight to keep your light green. Your children will thank you. I can give you the keys all in all. Yes, I can. I can give you the key to eternal life, the key to peace, the key to astral travel, the key to visualization, the key to psychic self-defense, the key to meditation, the key to prayer, the key to higher sciences or higher senses, the key to generational, generational invigoration. I can give you these keys. You can stand in front of the great gates, each key in hand, prepared to enter in through the many gates. I can cheer you on and scream your name so that the highest heavens can hear. And so that they, the hosts of the highest heavens and all of the hosts of all of the heavens in between this realm and the highest heavens might join in and cheer you on also. I can clap and dance and sing about your being able to finally brace the great gates, keys in hand. Oh, I can give you all 19 of those keys, but I cannot turn the key for you. What a fool I would be to lie to you. Very true, I say to you, I am not able to put forth words and vouch for anyone. I am not given the power to say, let him through or allow her to pass. If I give you a key and you place that key into its respective keyhole and turn it not, what use was the key? Send to yourself like the key and do be prepared to turn about on your axis clockwise and yes, counterclockwise when necessary. You will know. You who have allowed yourself to be open to receive this scroll when it's time to rotate clockwise or counterclockwise, you will know. I have given you a key with the first book of mine, which is the first book of ours called Why. Oh, have I not reminded people about the seven W's? They are why, 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 and why. Never forget to use your whys. This is how you will become wise. And this is how you will maintain your wisdom. 
that it will not perish. Yet, many think themselves to be ever wise and ever intelligent. They know not of their own idios idiocy. They, the many, are ignorant of their own shortcomings. Why is this the case? I tell you the truth. The many are oblivious to their own foolishness because they have not yet turned the mirror on themselves. This even applies to many of those who are referred to as the scholars or the intellectuals and the holy men and the clerics and the so-called conscious leaders. I said they run from the light, afraid that their darkness may one day be violently revealed in front of a gawking audience, an audience full of onlookers who once believed these people to have somehow achieved a life of infallibility. Turn the mirror on yourself. It is simple and easy and convenient to question the character, motives and decency of others. How will you fare when you stand outside of yourself and chastise yourself? It is more favorable for you to do this now. One day it will be done. Control your own judgment and be grateful about the chance you have to do so. One day you will be asked in spirit if you were of the ones who deemed yourself worthy of ascension. I cannot answer for you. We cannot answer for you. You cannot tell a lie in that day. No, all has been recorded. When that time comes and you raise up and stand in that day, you will want to be centered. Be advised. Be wise. To be wise is to be centered. Oh, never forget the science of neutrality. Neutrality. Remember, reader, about the shrine. I say with an echo, the center is the shrine. The shrine is the holy place. Stand in it. You are that key. Turn yourself around. There is a question about you. What will you choose? Everybody has to choose. Will you be of the ones who align themselves with the goat called Samael? And he's called many names. He is they. They are many. They are many as in the many leaders, rappers, politicians, government officials, murderers, handlers, medical practitioners, etc. Oh, they are so many. There are plenty in the world to make it appear as though the way to go is the way of the world. This was and is to this day an orchestration of the so-called elite who walk in the footsteps of the prideful Iblis before them. The way to go is not the way of the world. I can hear the cries of the souls near and far who knew not what was meant by hell. I want to speak to you briefly about hell. Many are there in hell. I am aware that people believe hell to be a place that the evildoers will be sent. Maybe I will shed a tear for their sadly mistaking so. They know not that the many of them, or let it be known that the amount of those who we are speaking of are the most of them, are already there. A tear falls for them. If hell was no concern, I would never speak on it except I was allowed to go and visit the lower planes using my astral body and I heard football fields worth of voices. There were screams of what sounded close to agony, but it was more like they were screaming to be heard. But they knew not. They knew that they would not be heard. This would nonetheless be agonizing, I imagine. I said belief is no key from what I understand when it comes to the freedom of the soul from these damn places. I do not ask that you believe me. I do not intend to cause you to worry or to be full of fear regarding such places of existence as hell. I do wonder, however... If you will be of the ones who were wise enough to not ignore the signs, it is easy to ignore. It is a challenge to pay attention. Pay attention. Are you on your way home? If so, then you know that this scroll is speaking directly to you. I have already accepted the fact that I may not always be speaking to everyone. Why am I speaking to anyone about any of this? They mostly think I am out of my mind. Would it not have been easier to just fake the funk and play along with the script of Babylon, the world of Set Shaitan? Why did Omari Shaman Hargrove, who is called Phase One, accept the walk of the righteous one? Oh, he is indeed the wise sailor standing in the center of the ship and such a holy place to stand in. He has not lived without error. Only error is not the end all be all. There is always room for redemption. Even the world called hell is more of a refinement place than a place of punishment. 
all who are willing can be redeemed. I share with you the story of the long lost treasure. You might even say that it was misplaced rather than lost. I will explain that to you as we proceed. Remember, we all have the choice. We all have a chance and we all have the ability to walk righteously or unrighteously. Who determines who or what is righteous? Is there anyone who has the first or the last say? When was the first and when is the last day? These are not riddles. These are real questions. When you hear me speak of God, I am not doing so with true love. I, when you hear me speak of God, I am doing so with true love and true expression of gratitude. Very true, I say to you who walk with me, that there is never and never was a need to wink at me or to give me smirky looks of approval when I spoke up for the religious peoples. There is no plot or scheme or ploy. I am no finesse. I did tell you to keep watch for the finessers. It is not. Is it not interesting that you can see that the many of the so-called conscious community leaders and the so-called conscious leaders were called forth and they all seem to have an issue with the master teacher who is the most honorable Dr. Malachi Z. York, peace be upon him. I tell you to be aware about anyone who has an issue with Malachi, not because I am some fanatical student of his, but because I have grown to realize that there is truly no one who can compare to him and his works. That alone is enough to step out and speak on his behalf. But the fact that the many of these wannabe teachers, preachers and leaders have failed to allow for that truth to be known shows me that these people are all devils and they do not care about this whole movement of raising souls. They could care more or they could care less, but they do not care. I was literally taught to care by the master teacher. He told those who were willing to listen to learn to care. I did just that. I do not understand why so many turned their back on him. I do not understand why so many used his name to get followers. I do not understand why so many use his information and style of teaching to play his character as if they were auditioning for a role that had already been filled. I tell you to be aware about anyone who was unable to stand on truth. I say people have seen me stand tall during all tests of all times and I moved righteously and I spoke the truth. I do not say I have made no mistakes. That is not what is meant by being righteous. Yet I have always stood on truth and I did not forget who the master was and is to this very day. As I told the world, his name bathed clean that he would be home. Only those devils who didn't have the hearts of truth, which are the hearts of purity, dreaded his return. They are 100 percent aware of the fact that the master teacher is the truth. They dreaded his return because his return would mean the end of all the lies. They, these deceiving gins, feared this day, but it has come. And X marks the spot. All with eyes, let them see. All with ears, let them hear. I kept saying to all, remember, and there have been devils who have gone out into the world that wanted everyone to forget. Characters such as the one who calls himself Lifewave, whose real name is Manessa have caused people to drift away and forget. I was taught to always pay attention to the names of the beings I encountered in this life. Tones are no accident. There is no coincidence that his name, Manessa, literally means to forget or to cause others to forget. Go look it up. These deceivers have been doing their jobs. Why, when he was given the opportunity to clear it up, that the jinn, who was called 19 Keys, decided to deny the master teacher? Because I was letting it be known who Dr. York is and that no one let, wanted to let it be known. 19 Keys, who was Jabril Muhammad, made a public post stating that we did not need master teachers, that we needed master builders. Is this not the same man who has people echoing, echoing that we don't need leaders and that people need to lead themselves? Does this man not realize that his statements are oxymorons? And I did post a tweet on there, too. Right. This isn't the age of master teachers. Why everybody running to try to be a master teacher It's the age of master builders. Why niggas ain't built anything, <laughs> haven't built anything, but they only did that. He only said that to uh, slight Dr. York because 
I was asking them all at that time, why? Listen, you don't have to agree with Dr. Melakazi York. You don't have to like his teachings. You don't have to like him. He never said that he ain't in the business of that. Question is, why don't people mention him or bring him up in the conversations of all? So look, the uh, one who was called Atmos, all right, who I, I'm telling y'all is, is, is the Moses or the one who got the red light, only who has not embraced the science of El-Kadir, so he was not able to see what his father brought, right? He did a video. I guess he was supposed to be speaking to me and whoever else. He called them Dr. York worshipers and was saying that uh, they don't want to claim Dr. York name because he said it's blackmail. Now, I don't think he know what he's the words he's using. I think he's trying to say it's black ball. All right. But he said it's blackmail. I don't understand the context of that or the protest of that. But I think he's trying to say it's black ball. Right. He's like, yo, he, he had to fight uh, all his life about saying his father is his father, all this other stuff. And he was saying, um that I was getting on 19 keys about not saying uh, Dr. Melakazi York's name. And he said, yo, he told 19 keys, he said, yo, you better not say Dr. Melakazi York's name. He said, don't say, I'm scared for you if you say Dr. York's name because they're going to uh, uh, cancel you. You know what I mean? Yo, he's, it, listen, y'all got to look at what stance people take. It's one thing to take a neutral stance if you don't know. It's another thing to take the stance of not only are you not uh, uh, pushing the truth, the true light, OK, that no one has surpassed this person that we're talking about, Dr. Melakazi York. All right. In the sciences of the green light, any of that, you could push that truth. But not only are you not pushing that truth, you're deciding to stand on the opposite side and telling people not to say his name. You understand? And that's a weird thing to me. If you're going to say the name, then clear it up. You know what I mean? Every time you got to fight and say it. That's why he said in the video, he said, um, he said, we ain't saying his name. He said, if y'all want people to say his name, uh, uh, clean, uh, clean his name up. Right. Clear his name. And then we go uh, and then uh, make people want to say it. I said, this man's a coward because I've had to fight. Listen, I'm not uh, Dr. Melakazi, your biological son. I've had to fight all my life about the truth I was taught. You understand? That's why I said in my song all my life. I had to fight because I was taught the truth. You know what I mean? That's insane. You have to fight every time you say his name and you got to fight every time you say his name. But why would you tell us to clear it up? That's your father. You should be helping to clear it up. And if you're a truth speaker, then you should do everything in your power to find out all of the truth and all of the lies. If you're going to come out here and speak the truth, then you should be doing everything in your power to come out and teach people what's the truth. Listen, if you don't know, then be quiet. If you don't, if you don't have anything to offer about it, then be quiet. But what do you mean? You're not going to say the name, right? And you want us to clear it up and then you're going to say it. Well, then you're not going to fight when it's, when it's rough and dirty. You want to come out and just benefit off of the name and the tones. Then you're going to attach yourself to it with all of the bliss. You know what I'm saying? But you didn't want to fight when we was in the mud going against Shaitan every day, making sure that the name was, and Pop wants his name cleared. Pops wants his name to be cleared. Your father wants his name to be cleared. So you see how niggas will make a whole response explaining why they shouldn't say their father's name and why they shouldn't let people know who that is. Right. And it all boils down to cowardice. You don't want to fight. This is a war, though. So that's why I be telling y'all to stand down. There are teachers and there are warriors. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're fighting. That's why I say in the Drake song or the Dragon song, I'm Michael them. I'm fighting. I'm not out here just to teach no nigga no fucking technique. <laughs> Some method. This is a war. You got to do it every day until you die. <laughs> that's, our ancestors did that. What are you talking about? People fought to get to this point. So because you don't want to deal with the scrutiny that comes with the name or you being tied to the person, you're not going to let the truth be known. I can't relate to you. I can't relate to you because I've been saying that name my whole life. And every time somebody has something negative to say, I corrected them my whole life. So don't tell me about no few years you've been doing this right. No, my whole life. Every time I said the name, I fought on his behalf. Every time I said the name, I fought on his behalf. And I think it's clear. You go check the record. You know what I mean? So it's a lot of uh, uh, fallacies. A lot of, it's a lot of lies going on, too, about that. Because he was saying he, he, he wasn't, uh, he never dated Nuwabian sisters. Unless he's trying to be technical, right? Saying that he was uh, dating uh, Sabian sisters. Because I, I know a, a few of them that he did date. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they were coming to me asking information on certain things. You know what I mean? And he was around. He told me he went around the sisters. Yes, she was, because all them conscious community people, they started to make their way over to uh, Wusabat with Lifewave, uh, Sun Ra, and the rest of them. So, yes, you were. And you were using your father's name. You told me this. 
You know what I mean? So when they use a name to, to get females, there's no problem. When they use a name to get some names to get some attention, a month they listen, they trying to finesse. He's saying the outside world versus the inside world. Here go the finesse. The finesse is when you around the tribe, you Malachi's son. You don't disrespect him. When you're around the tribe, when you know the tribe already believes that he's innocent. You know what I mean? You know the tribe doesn't think that he's guilty. So you finesse that. You use that. All right? So when you come around, yeah, you're Dr. York's son. But when you go out into the world, that sounds familiar to me. So there's a, a, a word for that. And as you are a student up under the five percenters nation, okay, then you should be aware about this word. It's called a kaffir. And the kaffir room, they say, yo, I'm only with them around them. When I'm around them, he said, I wasn't, they, they, we're not really Muslims. All right. We're not really with them. We only say that while we're around them. We're only, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, teasing them or mocking them is the word. You know what I'm saying? That's what the Kafir room do. So it's either, it's one of the two. And you forget, I was around to hear you not only speaking about your father, trying to speak on the, the doctrine. You know what I mean? Or the teachings or the lessons. So it's, it, it's, it's, it's all fallacy. They feel some type of way about the fact that I called them out about being cowardice. All right, this is a fight. We said, bless on all of you who are persecuted in righteousness sake or for righteous name's sake. All right, or after the name of righteousness. Okay, what other name will we be speaking about other than Melchizedek, Zedek, the messenger of righteousness? You know what I mean? Listen, that is the literal name, Zedek, Zodak, and that's what your father carries. So let me tell you something. I wouldn't have it no other way. Me to go back and go through school, all right, elementary, middle, high, okay, in the hood, whatever. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it no other way because I bear witness to the truth and I'm, I'm not one of those people who are trying to live an illusion. You're living an illusion. You know that no one has surpassed your father. You know that, but yet you won't let the record be clear. But you put it on record why you won't because you don't want to fight every time you say his name. And I understand that. And you know what? I can even respect it. You know what I mean? It lets me see where people are standing and why people had an issue with me because that, what would be the issue other than that? Other than the fact that every time you see me, I was fighting on his behalf and you claim that you tried to kick and hold rank as his son and then you ran into somebody who was more of his son or more of his brother, all right, or more of his family, period, genetically, spiritually, whatever you want to say, than someone that he helped to create, okay, based off of the works that we were producing and how we stood up for him our whole life. Not Dr. York worshipers. You understand? I don't understand why you would even think that. Knowing what we were taught. We weren't taught to worship anybody. You can hear your father say in 1992, he said, I worship Allah. When he was talk talking to the Islam people at th those times, we were moving into Nuwapu. All right. And everybody was working their way over to right knowledge. He was saying, yeah, they try to say you idolize. He say so. <laughs> he said, but I worship Allah. All right. You worship no man. We don't worship uh, Dr. Melakazi York. You know what I mean, that, that don't make sense. We weren't taught that. So again, if you would look into what we were taught, you would realize anybody who worshiping Dr. Melakai Zior, he never told us to do that. So that's not a student. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I think that when people look and listen to what I'm uh, uh, saying and look at what I'm doing, people will see. Listen, there was a, a, a debate that took place on Clubhouse about two, three years ago. It was between, actually it was two years ago, it was between uh, Duswa York, who is Basil, Okay, or, or Damon Pryor, all right, and uh, some other Hebrew Israelite brothers, and I think some Christian brothers was in it on it too, but it was mainly the Hebrew Israelite brothers. And uh, you know, they were really having a debate, but people kept trying to involve me in the conversation, and I, I kept telling people I'm retired from debating. I stopped debating when I was like 17 years old, 16 years old. You know what I mean? I said I'm retired from that, but they, they kept bringing me into the conversation. So eventually, I just started to correct certain things. I said, well, and they they realized I wasn't biased. Because the person who was called Duswa York was supposed to be, or Duswa was supposed to be uh, uh, speaking in the language or the uh, information, the information that we learned as Nuwapians, or Sabians, as they call it now. You know what I'm saying? We, or right knowledge. So he was supposed to be coming from that school, and these Hebrew Israelites were supposed to be coming from their school. You can't just step to the Hebrew Israelites without knowing the Hebrew Israelite doctrine. And you can't just step to the Hebrew Israelite, you know what I'm saying, without knowing the Bible. <laughs> because the Hebrew Israelites know their doctrine, and they know their Bible. They don't play about that. You know what I mean? So there were certain things I stepped in and I even corrected the nigga do swab about. I said, no, that's not, that's not true. I said, no, that's not what it says. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I corrected them. And one of the brothers said, yo, he said, I'm not going to lie. He said, I met a, a lot of new wildlings in my life. He said, you will probably be uh, uh, the best. The, the dude was a Hebrew Israelite. He said, you probably the best example of that that I've seen my, and ever encountered in my whole life. 
and he don't even know me. You know what I mean? God name was divine. I can't remember divine something, but he don't even know me. You know what I mean? But all that's on record. But why? Why would they say that? Because Nuwapu was not a religion. All right. And it was way deeper than a, uh, just a way of life. It was a science that you start asking yourself, what does phase one believe? People got to ask me. You know, there's people be on live and they say, yo, matter of fact, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question. What, what do you believe? Because <laughs> they realize I'm talking from everybody's uh, uh, vantage point. And I'm able to walk in every, everybody's book <laughs> and break certain things down in everybody's science. They said, well, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I just, what do you believe? I don't believe. And then it's a whole nother conversation that we got to go. I don't believe. Well, if you're not a believer, I said, that's a whole different conversation. Because <laughs> if you're saying, if I'm not a believer in the Islamic sense, you're saying, am I a mu'minun? All right. Am I of al-mu'minun? Okay. Well, then, yes, I am. <laughs> okay. Because belief in the Islamic sense doesn't mean belief in the Christian sense. It's two different types of beliefs. <laughs> okay. Belief in the Islamic sense is actually saying that you do know because you bear witness. You know what I mean? All right. So to say that you take shahada, okay, and you start that path of becoming of al mu'minun wa mu'minati, all right, of the believers, what you said, men or women, okay, believers or Muslims to become submitters or peaceful beings, all right, who have the willpower, all right, activated in them to become a part of or uh, are one with Allah, okay, or to return back to the source, okay? If you're taking that pathway, then you bore witness to in that moment of you're taking shahada, all right, how it feels to receive that Holy Spirit, okay, how it feels to be endowed with uh, truth, okay, in its pristine purity, and truth is acceptance also, all right, people think they get it misconstrued, it's not just accepting to say that uh, uh, you believe a thing and you don't, you don't want to go check it out, it's accepting what you don't know, not accepting something that you don't know, <laughs> you understand, it's two different things, I hope, not, hope nobody's confused, to accept something that you don't know is to believe, all right, to become a believer. But to accept that you don't know is to become of the mu'minun, okay? Because you say Allah knoweth. Allah is al alim. You know what I mean? The knowing one, all right? And he knows all things. Are you with me? So if you say I'm not a believer, that's a whole different conversation because you got to deal with what you're actually speaking about. I know what I don't know. And I don't walk around acting like I know something that I don't know. So why would I argue about your belief? Your belief is your belief. You could be saying that there's a guy sitting on a cloud outside my house. I go out, I look, I don't see it, but it could be using quantum stuff technology. Just because I don't see it does not mean that it isn't there. You understand? You could be 100% right or you could be 100% wrong, but I don't know. People ask me, yo, how do we get here? Who, where, where was the beginning then? Tell us, tell us where all this began. I don't know. You know the difference between me and you? I can say that. <laughs> you won't say that. You don't know. Well, the Bible, the Bible says, as a matter of fact, the Bible doesn't say anything. The Bible reads, you know what I mean? But it say the Bible says, this is the word of God. It's neither. You know what I mean? Because there's so many books in it that have nothing to do with uh, uh, divine inspiration, just somebody's account or somebody's doctrine. Or some shit. How do you, why do you need four different split versions of one gospel that's supposed to be the word of God? You know what I mean? No, it's, it's all of it is confusion. How about you ask God to reveal to you the same way it was supposed to be revealed to Luke, all right, Mark, Matthew and John, ask God to reveal it to you. And you pick up the pen and you write something and bring it to me. That I can say, wait a minute, I've never even thought of this. You're bringing something to my attention that I never thought of. All right? And the soul is the thing that's guiding the pen. Let God speak through your soul. You with me? So I don't deal with the belief. And they start realizing that. So who taught me to be this dynamic teacher? Who taught me to, if I needed to, I don't like debating because it's useless <laughs> at this point, especially. Right. Because any it's debate is like a rap battle. Anybody could decide, oh, this person won or that person won. It becomes more about winning. You know, what I mean, a, a, like an argument. All right. And it's, it's, it's useless. OK. Or futile. Right. I'm not just into debate. But if I wanted to debate, I could and sling swords and take anybody over. Not because I could debate something that. I, listen, if they say we debate on a new topic and you give me three minutes to research it, I could debate it. Give me three minutes. Give me a new topic. Give us three minutes on the clock to research that topic. And you would think I studied it my whole life. That's what right knowledge does. It increases your uh, 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 retention ability. Okay. It re uh, increases your reception ability when it comes to information and your overstanding. So you're not just understanding some shit that you looked up. All right. You have an overstanding of it. So now, now can you not only teach it? Listen, I told you, like, and I, like I'm saying in this book, I can give you the key. But if you don't turn it, what use was the key? All right. In that same way, if I teach you something, all right, if I, if I say, yo, yo, this is what this is, this is what that is, after a while, you're going to forget. You know what I mean? 
if if I involve you in a way, this is something we taught as Masons, by the way. If I will involve you in something, then it becomes a part of you. All right. Now you can teach it. You with me? So this is something that people, this is why I say involve in the book. You go up to the part where I was speaking about involving you in this process. All right. I'm not just teaching people fasting. I'm involving them. Say we're going to fast. Okay. So let's take that science. The same Masonic science that built this world. All right. Did not Dr. Malachi Z. York exemplify that? Did he not show that? Did he not exhibit the science of involving people? Right? Like when we was on field trips and we go to a Native American uh, uh, site or museum, we dressed up as Native Americans, correct? Okay. When we would go and, and do certain, uh, uh, like we go into the dinosaur thing, you might put on a dinosaur hat. You know what I mean? Okay, you dressed up as the school you were in, correct? Why is everybody acting clueless then? All right. When we were dressed up as Native Americans and put on that garb. All right. As your massive Native Americans of the Creek Nation. OK, we were embodying the walk of the Native American of tying to the land. You know what I mean? When we were dressed at, in the brothers in the lodge, when they put on the aprons. OK, they were embodying that science. OK, they were putting on the emblems and embodying that science. When people came and showed up in their, their church wear, they were embodying that science, Reverend Dr. Melikazi York. When people put on their jello beer, all right, or their abaya, and they came in, they were embodying Islam, okay, Imam Asa. So we learned stuff to a whole different degree than people who were just Googling it. We didn't say, yeah, did you take shahada? No, we hit our knees, our, our, our hands, and forehead. You know what I mean? We actually prostrated. And received our mark of prostration. You know, in order to receive the mark of prostration, you have to prostrate a certain amount of times consistently or persistently. You with me? So I'm trying to figure out what do the uh, uh, with five percenters. OK, unless you're reading a book, are you gonna, what, what's the walk that you're taking to be the five percent? <laughs> you know what I mean? Listen, you have to actually be the five percent. Do you know what the five percent actually are in terms of what the percentages are? They're speaking about wealth. They're speaking about resources. They're speaking about all kinds of different things. Acquisition, all kind of stuff that niggas is walking around here don't have calling themselves a five percenter. You with me? So if we were to take that walk, you got to take that walk. My point is this. All right. They denied someone who did all the stuff that everybody's doing. And I don't get that. I don't understand it. If this was somebody who was just, you know, a teacher of one thing, then maybe, maybe you could play it and say, yo, we don't need Islam. Maybe you could play to say, no, you don't need Christianity. Maybe you could say we don't need. But then it gets crazy because you say, well, he taught science too, biology, physics, quantum physics. You know what I mean? We don't need any of that, too. <laughs> right. But y'all give all these other people who coming out with the half ass science a pedestal. But this person came through. We literally called Dr. Melakazi the science man, because every time we turn it around, we were learning literal sciences through him. Sciences that allow for us to sit in a room with neuroscientists and know what they're talking about. We can sit in a room with physicists and know what they're talking about. All right. Same reason why I told you, I said you want to ascend. All right. Everything that you're learning in spirituality, go find out what the scientists are saying about it. That's how you ascend. There's a science to all of the stuff. People know that they're saying pseudoscience, pseudo. You got the word suede in there to persuade, persuading you that it's science. Well, guess what? Most of the things that people believe, they've been persuaded that it's a science. That's what the word believe means because <laughs> they've been persuaded that they know something, even though they don't know it. You with me? <laughs> They can talk about everything. It's always, it's always pseudoscience until we ask you questions about what it is that you believe, all right, or what you're doing. Or let's let, let, tell me, yeah, tell me how far is the sun away from the planet? Give me a number, and I'm gonna ask you how you know that. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you don't know. You know what I mean? Tell me that the sun is real. Tell me that there is a sun. Do you know that? Okay. Now there are ways that you can go out and test certain things and say that if you don't put the plant out in the sun, okay, it won't grow unless you have like a greenhouse. <laughs> OK, but my point here is a lot of people just believe whatever they're told. So that is pseudoscience. You with me? So we weren't taught to be pseudoscientists. I don't believe anything. All of this could change right now. All of it could change tomorrow. As a matter of fact, if we really dealing with truth, it is changing because there is nothing that is maintaining its state except change itself. <laughs> All right. Because even if you say there's an uh, atom, that atom is moving. Even if about itself, that quasi particle is moving, even if about itself. All right. You say, yo, I'm doing all this while I'm still breathing. OK, but you have to breathe in again. You might want to be careful. <laughs>
Okay, but don't speak too soon. You still got to breathe in again. And you got to breathe out again. And breathe in again. Breathe out again. You know, you, you literally die every time you breathe in and out. Okay? Because you have to be rebirthed. Every time you got to take in another breath, you have to be rebirthed. And you know, some people take that last breath. And if they don't take another breath, that's it. You with me? So, yeah, it, it, everything is changing all the time, constantly. There's always change. Exactly. Constant change or prostant change. You with me? It's happening all the time. So listen, do words have power? Yes. Do words carry energy? Yes. And intention? Yes. Can you say something to somebody and mess their whole day up? Yes. All right. If they had a psychic self-defense, would there may have been uh, uh, another type of response to that stimuli? Yes. All right. Well, energy is traveling. Well, guess what? If I see the word con in consciousness, okay, then I have the right. Okay. As in I brought up, I've been brought up in the rituals to deal with what I write which is a word, all right, W-R-I-T-E, R-I-T-E, R-I-G-H-T, and R-I-G-H-T. They said, Faze, you spelled it twice. It was a, they spelled it twice. I didn't spell it twice. <laughs> I'm just telling you it's there. There are two different rights. You make a right, you do something that's right, and then you got, there's just three different rights. You make a right, you do something that's right, and then you got a right. <laughs> they said, you don't have the right. And then you got to figure out which right these people are talking about. You know what I mean? Somebody say the word bear, you looking to see if it's a grizzly or see if somebody is naked or see if somebody is carrying something. You know what I'm saying? I got bare arms. You look and say, this nigga arm's not hairy. <laughs> you know what I mean? But they, they, got, they talking about they carrying guns. And you think, look, you looking for bare arms. I have the right. Listen, look at all these spells. I have the right to. I have the right to. The right what? Which right? R-I-T-E-T-W-O-B-E-A-R-E. Arms, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, it, and listen, I'm telling you. So this is what they didn't want Pops to speak about. Because when he brought out, it, when he talked about, um, listen, it's all good. Y'all don't have to come in here. You don't have to come here. Go back to your corner in the universe. You have to come here. We're not doing it no more. We're not doing that no more. Everything up in the air already. Right? When they, when they, when Pops put forth, yo, we're not doing understanding anymore. We're doing overstanding. Right. It's no longer time to stand under. It's time to overstand that opened up portals in people's mind. You know what I mean? That tore open shackles. Right. That people didn't even know was there. And that's what they were concerned about or concerned about. Right. Because, listen, as soon as you start doing that, people say, wait a minute. And then it becomes second nature. Then what I say it becomes first nature. Right. And then you start counting off the first instead of the seconds. I say, why would it be called second? It's the first measurement of time. You know what I mean? And you think certain things start making more sense to you or making it to your senses more. more. What well, Pop said, make it make sense. Right? So that's why I just wanted to st just stop it right there. Listen, don't be of the room. Don't be of the room. These people are agonized at this point. They, they hate to hear the voice protruding through. They know that I held them accountable. You with me? Meaning I'm able to count them and say, who's here? One, two, and three. I did a roll call. You with me? And they felt it. And I they named, when I said they named, they weren't present. You with me? And they tried to show up late to the party. And no, you were not counted. That's why I said in a song, which will come out eventually called Come Home. I haven't even recorded. I said, give me one reason to put your name in the book of life. All right? Y'all got to understand. Why did I do the 144,000 fundraiser? Why did I do, uh, tell people, yo, you, you can uh, donate to put your name in the book of life. Why would I do that? Y'all got to notice what I'm really doing and what I'm really saying. Even when you listen to this book being read to you or go and read X marks the spot, this is a scroll. It's a holy scroll. <laughs> you understand? I'm literally, I literally was reading over it and I said to Mrs. Faze, I said, this ain't just a book. This is a holy scroll. Anybody who reads this is like, you, 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 you will be called forth. It's like they speaking directly to you. And I said, I get it. I may not always be speaking to everybody, even though I want everybody to come home. And what I say, even the enemies, I cry for them too. Because, you know, hell is a different conversation. You know what I mean? Hell is a different conversation. And um, you really, you know, it, it, you got to be a different type of upset or angry at someone to want them to experience hell. Right? I'm not talking about go through chaos in life. Okay? But if you've been privy to uh, see what types of beings are waiting for people to cross over, and uh, the types of devices that they have set up and the types of things that they're doing to people now during sleep paralysis and the stabbing and the scratching and the skinning alive and all this other stuff that 
I was able to literally see, all right, or behold, whether it be in dreams or through astral projection, when I went down and actually heard, okay, if you would have, if you could see that, it's like, yo, these people, you know, that's why I say, well, God gonna have to have that last say. And what I mean by that is, is very advanced, okay? These beings that plague people, I know there's a whole other science, we'll probably have to go to this another time, but the beings that plague people during sleep paralysis are real life forms, okay, that need to be studied more, but your scientists won't uh, uh, present to you their findings. So if, unless a uh, uh, scientist amongst us study these beings or study these realms, no one will know. And one of the best ways to start your studies is to find who studied them first and pre who presented the findings first. And all these people be studied talking about ancient Egypt and all this other stuff. And the Native Americans, they talked about demons. They talked about uh, the lower realms. OK, the Hindus talked about the lower locus. OK, or worlds. All right. And all the different types of uh, uh, beings that will be plaguing people after they cross over that threshold. You play the uh, video game God of War after he died. There were uh, black hands that reached up, these dark hands, misty hands that reached up and uh, uh, pulled them into the ground or pulled him into the ground. All right. I told you my experience with that. <laughs> OK, listen, all I'm saying is it's a real thing. But how can you make it real for someone who hasn't experienced it or been allowed to see? So that's why I say in this scroll, I say I want to talk to you about hell, but notice I don't talk to you about it long. <laughs> I just talked to you about it briefly. I said, I want to talk to you about it. Okay, I've already done teachings, What and Where is Hell. Dr. Melakazi York had a book, What and Where is Hell. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm only speaking uh, uh, and reminding people about things that have already been spoken of and uh, reminded about. That's why I tell you, what am I here for? I'm here to remind you. Okay, I'm here to encourage you and remind you. Right? So, okay, then that's what we come to do, remind you. If hell was not something that was of uh, 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 concern or concern, all right, I wouldn't bring it up, but it is. So my whole thing is, yeah, it, it's they they wanted to conceal the truth. They didn't want it out into the world. All right, but now it's so it's so much truth out here, and we about to brace this harmonic convergence. Imagine that, okay? The last harmonic convergence that everybody was talking about was in 1987, before I was even born. Okay, uh, it took for me to be 25 years old to uh, cause another harmonic convergence to take place. You with me? And it will take place on April 4th of this year. All right. We will be engaging in a harmonic convergence, a harmonic convergence that won't just happen one time, by the way, is going to happen a, a bunch of times. All right. Throughout the course of the day of April 4th. And do you find it to be interesting that at 704, that's when uh, the dawn cracks? OK, when people finally say, oh, that's, that's the crack of dawn, 704. And I broke down to you the book of rehab. All right. The 704 is G.O.D., which is God. And you flip it upside down and you get the word whole or holy. All right. And we went into the science of that. So it's that time. This this scroll came out right at the right time. And I'm telling you, certain things I ain't said yet. Uh, me and the brother Young Elder was supposed to speak on certain things, but certain things kept messing up. All right. So maybe I wasn't supposed to speak on it yet. But it's certain things that have already been in motion. That's why I'm telling you, all they're going to have to just deal with it. OK, because the truth is out. They hear the voice. All right. And we just we're going to keep going. That's all it is. Remember, it was it wasn't many people that were able to hear at one point in time because they didn't know who phase one was. All right. But as the platform continues to grow, ask yourself, all right, why did he stay talking about Dr. York? If you got someone who can be like Atmos, Atmos said he doesn't want to do it because he doesn't want to lose followers. Atmos says he doesn't want to say his name because he doesn't want to be blackballed or blackmailed, as he said. He, he misspoke. All right. He doesn't want to be blackballed. All right. Check this out. Phase one has, has surpassed Atmos. OK, and all of that when they try to play him at one point in time. OK, but he surpassed him and all of that. And he still has yet to stop speaking about Dr. York. So please make it make sense. <laughs> all right. If this if this is what it's speaking on Dr. York and fighting on his on behalf of his name is what stops you from being able to reach these heights. Then why am I reaching these heights? Why am I reaching these heights? You know what I mean? That's what I'm telling you. And look, you don't listen. What I what I pay attention to is I never go to any of these people lives. But every time I go live, they send the sister of Lifeway, Manessa, who was called Sweet Roots right there, one of the gen. All right. They send her. They send the backup pages of Atmos. They send uh, 19 Keys minions. They said, listen, <laughs> and that's why I tell you, don't look at these numbers and think that that's all the people that's in here. That's why you don't see any glitch sometimes. And you see it's over a thousand people that be in here. You think we've been talking this damn long and it's only still 89. <laughs> you understand? That's all they can think about. Where's your business money? That's all she can think about. But she's in the world. 
No one knows her. She has no name in any life book. No one. No, no one knows her. You know what I mean? Listen, in sweet roots. But they send millions. So I, I'm noticing that. Say, why is it that, you know what I mean? Listen, look, they, they, that's all they can do. And they get in, they just type, 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 type. Do you know that you've been summoned? Do you know that you're here because of me? Do you know that if I would not have gotten on live, you would have actually been doing something? But your programming is he's live. Go see what he's doing. You know what I mean? Do you know that that means that what I'm saying actually holds weight? Because people send me y'all lives and I never go. People send me these people stuff. I never go because it, nothing that they're saying holds weight. Nothing that they're doing holds weight. But I tell you, I said, y'all don't have to keep sending me these people stuff. I said, we're calling them forth. They're not calling me anywhere. I'm not, I'm not going nowhere. You know what I mean? So right, I'm almost the king. <laughs> That's where I'm going. The straight path. That's what I'm walking. <laughs> All right. Dao, pop the rock, the way. That's where I'm going. Other than that, why would I steer off? So if you had something to do, like, wasn't you doing something before I went live? Wasn't all these people doing something? If you are gods and you're in control of what you got going on and you're not on what, this side of where I'm at, then it, see, look, you, you, you don't get it. We don't call each other kings. These people are of a lower school, a lesser school. All right. Even King, uh, 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 even Kanye West gave you the song. It was like, what's, a, what's, you know what I'm saying? Human beings in a mob. What's a mob to a king? What's a king to a god? What's a god to a non believer? You know what I mean? There's a, a different levels. So why would I call myself a king? That's Amber like. All of y'all who talking about all that king, queen stuff, you better wake up. And rise up because it's it's telling. You know what I mean? Watch all the motherfuckers say grand rising king and grand rising queen. They ain't rose up. They think they have, but they came up under young Pharaoh or they came up under nature boy or they came up under life wave. And they, they think that they're having conversations with us, but they're only showing themselves. You know what I mean? Listen, you don't have to do this. I'm trying to I'm trying to release you. You don't have to do this. You can go back to whatever was important in your life before I went live. Unless every time I go live, it's important to you. You know what I'm saying? It's how, it, it, they always have spelling issues. I get it. But my thing is this. The truth has been out. You know what I mean? Listen, seven people seen they, they uh, phase one exposed. <laughs> it was seven people. But somehow I'm embarrassed. <laughs> and even the, the phase one exposed thing is, is just that they weren't talking about anything. They had nothing to say. And my thing is, I want to know when people are going to be able to truthfully expose phase one, or do I have to do it by myself? I'm calling everybody for it. Let's do it right now, on record. I want help exposing me, <laughs> okay? I want help. So if you're going to expose me, can you hurry up? Because it's yet to be done. People need to know who I am. You know what I mean? People need to know. And these people, listen, those people are empty. I can, listen, I can sense them through the phone. They're empty. She's an empty person, a barren womb empty no no love no light and she come on and talk about kingship she's empty whoever she is there's a rope around her neck all right and it's attached to the foot of shaitan and when he steps she gets a crook in hers look here they come <laughs> summit boom y'all what uh, what video game y'all know the video game i'm talking about <laughs> where they, they be popping up you can see them pop in <laughs> you know what i mean all them online games here they come see look boom y'all remember the boom see look that wasn't even hit. That wasn't even, he was on his sister page. You know what I'm saying? Either that or they're surrounding a, a phone. They got to do it every time. And every, but see, the thing is, your time is up. Every time you do it now, you just got to leave. See, boom, there he goes. That's all they want. They just want to come in and say, hey, guys, I, I'm up under phase one. When he goes live, I show up. <laughs> I've never seen phase one on my lives. <laughs> but when phase one goes live, I, I show up. It's an important event. Okay, well then, you've already admitted it. You've already shown it. You hear me? Exactly. Exactly. You right? So, yeah, X marks the spot. They didn't want Pops out. Even Young Elder was saying, he said, he started realizing, he said, yo, these people ain't even pushing Baba. They're not even pushing him. Exactly. Notice the first thing, come on and say, what's your business? They want, they want an ink. <laughs> they want incorporated. They want ink. They want to see some shit dotted and signed on a piece of paper. That's what they need. But they can't bear witness to the light in its natural form. And that's a hazard. You with me? It's all about the true light. And now you start to see when I say their name, they, they just pop up. When I say their name, they come, they come forth. <laughs> like, huh? You talking to me? You called me? Yeah, I did. I called you forth. And every time they, call, every time they come through, is a fitna. Every time they come through, is a trial. Not for what y'all are thinking it is. It's their soul on trial. What did y'all do with all this time? Because the, the call has already been made. It came directly to me. 
What did you do? You're not going to be able to tell or, or say to anyone that will be around that you did this, that, and the third because I documented you. I got files on you. I watched you. I paid attention. I was sent. You didn't know I was there. I paid attention to everything. Y'all were not with us. And these people don't think they do. He made a video. Uh, Atmos made a video. That's why I was addressing. He made a video saying that, you know, why he was explaining why he wasn't speaking on behalf of his father. And he doesn't understand that that video just revealed more about himself than he thinks. It revealed a lot about himself than he thinks. A lot more. Because it'll be different. Let's say Atmos had his own organization. That'd be different. If he wasn't a part of the 5%, but you come up under Clarence, you come up under another man. You know what I mean? So what is this What is this thing? People act like you're not supposed to learn from men only when it comes to Dr. Melakazi York. But if if we're not talking about him, then everybody lists all these other teachers. Okay, Bobby, him, and the rest of these people as great people, great leaders, all right, even though they never surpassed the works of Dr. Melakazi York. That will not happen. And if I have to say it a million more times, I will, so that a million more people hear it. And if a million more people hear it and 100,000 people start saying it, well, then that will be a part of clearing up the illusion. You know what I'm saying? Rectifying the delusion. All right? So let's get into it a little more, and then we get up out of here. But yeah, if y'all want the book, this is X Marks the Spot. All right? X Marks the Spot. Okay? You send a donation right there. You see where it says, play for change. Send your donation in the email, and uh, it's 11 of them all. I've seen a lot of y'all that came through while we've been on here. I appreciate y'all for that. I see y'all. And everybody who came through even before then, all right? And for those who uh, pre-ordered Jaws, all right? If you want to know what's going on with your books, uh, hit up Mrs. Faze, DM her, and uh, send a screenshot. That's all you got to do. Send a screenshot of your donation and your email, even if it's going back, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, further than just now, all right? If you just never received your books, you don't got to go around telling people Faze won't finesse you <laughs> or you never got it, nothing like that. All right. I tell people, check your uh, spam folder. Something might have happened. Try to provide another email, provide an alternative one. Uh, the sister is making sure everybody's getting their uh, getting their books. OK, I, I can't say that. She She's overtime making sure. You know, what I mean, making sure not not only that the people are getting the books, but made sure the damn X marks the spot uh, book was uh, uh, being finished. You know what I'm saying? Like making sure like, yo, you because I would have been working on a thousand other things. You know what I'm saying? So all you do is bring it up to her. Just go to it with the screenshot, send your email, and you get your book, your, uh, all of them, 11 books. So even if you're coming in new, all right, you can get all 11 books. Just send whatever you want to send as a donation, all right? <clears throat> First off, Dr. Melakazi York is both the master teacher and the master builder. Someone please ask 19 Keys to show where he has produced anything even close to the works of Tom and Ray in Putnam County. The harmonic convergence date is uh, April 4th. That would be the first. It's going to be three spots, three points, but I haven't told you the other two. All right. Unless, as a matter of fact, you might have the third point uh, in this book, but I haven't told you the second point, which would be the U point. But the A point is uh, already expressed as April 4th. All right. There'll be three different harmonic convergences. It's a three part harmony or a triad of the one and the three and the five. All right. Which I broke down to y'all before. Okay. And did I not explain to you the one and the three and the five is 135 years that they gave Dr. Melakazi York, but the one and the three and the five is uh, also music, okay, of the first interval, which is the root uh, interval, the root. All right, then you have the uh, second interval, which is really the third interval. Then you have the third interval, which is really the fifth interval in music. All right, boom. First off, Dr. Melakazi York is both the master teacher and the master builder. Someone please ask 19 Keys to show where he has produced anything even close to the works of Tom Ray in Putnam County, Edis in Georgia. This man says we don't need master teachers only to disrespect Dr. York. If I were to step forward and speak on behalf of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, peace be upon him, there will be absolutely no statements of contention spewing from 19 Keys. This is why I tell you that he is indeed a deceiver. He is a kafir. The Kappa knows the truth, but does not speak the truth. He instead chooses to conceal it. This is why he goes around with intentions of finding other young men to place upon their foreheads the mark of Halal, which is the crescent moon, and Halal is the beast. On their foreheads, the deceiver, the Jow, was foretold to be coming forth with the mark of the Kappa in his face or on his face, on his forehead, or between his eyes. The word Kappa... Sounds like the word cover, phonetically, which means to hide or to conceal. 
The word Hilal, Hilal literally means crescent moon in Arabic and Baphomet, who is the beast, does appear as Hilal with crescent moons in his images. As Masons, when we became travelers, we were sworn under oath and obligation to safeguard the secrets. We were told to repeat, as I have taught you about before, that we were always hell and that we will always conceal and never reveal any of the hidden mysteries of Freemasonry. Oh, let it be known that the word hell comes from the word Hilan, meaning to conceal or hide. The Kafirun, plural Kafir, or plural of Kafir, do conceal and they teach others to do the same. This is the date of the sun cycle. Why is 19 Keys still wearing the sign of the moon called Yamaya, which is to say, oh, Maya? Does he not know that Maya means illusion? He does know. The Kafir knows. The Kafir chooses not to allow for it to be known, what he knows, which is the truth. You can even find the crescent associated with the Kafir, the servant of the beast, by decoding the Arabic abbreviation of the word Kafir, which is K-F-R using the numerological equivocal values of the letters. So you'll see K equals 11, right? F equals six, R equals 18. 11, six, 18 gives you 35, all right? <clears throat> I said, take a look at this symbol. What number comes to mind? The Hindu symbol Ganesha. Unless you were taught by me to identify the one in the Ganesha symbol, you would have otherwise seen the number 35. The swoop or the crescent above the 35 is called the Maya, which is the symbol of illusion, which is the realm of deception. And yes, Hillel, who is the great dragon, has deceived the whole world. Do you see how Kefir adds up to the same exact symbol of illusion and deception and overcoming it only by rising above the crescent? Also, pay attention to the fact that the word Dajjal, which means liar or deceiver, does have six letters, the number of the beast. The word Kafir, shortened, is actually an Arabic letter, Kaf, Kaf. Here is an image of the Kaf. All right, put that image right there. Right? I said, watch closely at what happens when we rotate this image by 90, by 90 degrees. What number is that? I said, even if you tried to, you can't unsee it. That is the number 19. And it just so happens to look exactly like the symbol that 19 keys wears on his forehead. The symbol of the star and crescent moon. Here is that symbol and the calf next to each other for reference purposes. You see it right here. You can't unsee it. Listen, I'm telling you, they can't do this. <laughs> you want to know why I tell you they can't do this and why even 19 Keys couldn't have uh, shown this to you? Because you, in order for you to really, what they call trap, tap into our uh, source, is you have to literally have to be centered. That means you have to stand on the truth, right? You have to. That's the only way certain things will be revealed to people in this day and time. You got to stand on the truth, right? So this number or this letter, excuse me, this letter, Gaff. Okay, they say only Allah knows what the science of this letter is. God. Okay, what you're looking at here. That only Allah knows. This is what was written in Al Quran. Only the Most High, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, or Allah Taala, would know what God was saying. What is the symbol of the God? Okay, do you think it to be an accident though that that symbol is uh, the number nineteen? Yeah, can y'all hear me now? Yeah, y'all can hear me now? Yeah, let me know if y'all can hear me now. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably be covering the damn mic. Yeah. Right? So the number 19, as we've broken down before, appears in El Quran only one time. In a uh uh the chapter or surah called El Madathir. All right, or the the hidden secret, or the covered secret, okay, or covered, kafir. Do you understand? Only explain it to you. So I'm showing you right there, kafir, cover, hidden, nineteen, number nineteen. Over it is nineteen, chapter seventy four, which is GD, the hidden secret, 
uh, 7-4, G-D, G-O-D, okay, 704-1919, Corona-19, Cron-19, over it is 19, cover it is 19, it is over 19, it is cover 19, COVID, cover it, cover it, cover it, cover C-19, the Codex-19, miracle number 19, Kaffa, Kaffa, cover. You, you wouldn't be able to do that unless you could hear. They're not talking to everybody. They, everybody can't hear. So when I show people, I say, look, it's right there. In a day of time called the apocalypse, where you take the lid off, this man is still wearing the moon, which is the lid covering. You understand? You take the lid off in this day and time. That's why we call it the sun cycle. That's why it's the day of revelation. All right. That's why his dad probably don't damn uh, have that, that image anymore or where he was saying this is the day of revelation. Everything. Everybody got to reveal themselves because I called him out about it. I said, yo, he literally grabbed that shit from one of my videos where I was talking about. Yay. And I was surrounded by green light, by the way. And I said, this is the day of revelation. Everybody has to reveal themselves. And the nigga almost said the shit word for word. But he came out talking about uh, we need to hide the truth, hidden knowledge unless you're afraid. You with me? So, again, I broke down the whole science of 19 Keys on uh, 19 Keys Exposed. All right, not just the person, but why was he named Jabril Muhammad? Who is Jabril? Who is Muhammad? All of that. You know what I mean? So, let me tell you something. Never before, all right? You got to pay attention to who can bring you something that never was revealed before. Never revealed before were people able to see the calf symbol and know that it was 19, okay? And I'm just, I told you right now. 19 and never before has people been able to look at the guy's symbol and know that it was the crescent star and moon also But I'm showing it to you now and never before did people think that the Kafa Kafa cover all right Kaf symbol was this symbol right here Okay, and that that symbol has run its course as this symbol appears in the Baphomet symbol also Or the Halal symbol also All right but it's run its course. And then I said they wanted people to receive the mark of Halal, who is Baphomet, who is the beast or the goat being or the Seder on their what? On their forehead, correct? Okay. Well, then what do you see? The mark of the beast on the forehead. And it was covered. Over it is 19. And when they say over it is 19, what are they saying? It's over what? Over hell. Jehanim. Okay. It's 19. Zebania. Okay. Zebania. Who are guardians. Okay. Of hell. All right, or the lower realms, which is called the demiurge realms of some of y'all. All right. Actual 19 keys, Hillel crown. And Hillel means crescent. You understand? Yeah, Dr. Melikazi York did speak uh, about um, the uh, 19 in Dr. York versus the computer. Dr. York versus the computer. He cracked the code of uh, more about the code from the 1974 revelation. You think it's a coincidence that it was 1974? When chapter 74 is where they put the number 19 in. So in 1974, there was an explosion of a revelation. All right. Through Rashad and the rest of them. Not Rashad as y'all know him. But the rest of these people who were Muslims. All right. Who came out and explained about the 19. So the 19 is known. Okay. But there's still more to be revealed about it, obviously. Because what was the calf? And why do they want to cover 19? Okay. And I can show you something else just by looking at it. They want to cover 19 as 1 through 9. 1 through nine is your whole reality, your visible, your whole visible reality. You know what I mean? And if it's your visible reality or the realm or plane that you exist within, why would they want to cover it? Why would they want to uh, shadow it out or shade it out? Because that's ombre. Aubrey. Ombre is Aubrey, correct? Ombre. Aubrey. Who is Aubrey? Aubrey is Drake. Aubrey Drake Graham. Okay. Meaning Aubrey. Ombre. Shadow. Shadow. Okay. Shaded. All right. Go look at what Ombre mean. Ombre also means a man in Spanish. Okay, a shadow man, all right, as Drake, the dragon, that old dragon, the old serpent, came with a message, a gram. A gram is a message, by the way. And that message was to bring people back into darkness, which is the message of the sixth God. Okay, the sixth God. And the sixth God is none other than Baphomet. You see how it all ties in? And then Bill Gates wanted to build a gate to keep the darkness in. All right. And the light out solo geoengineering, solo geoengineering. OK. And wanted to stop people from being able to access what's coming through that sun and the activations thereof. OK. And he came out with a patent. All right. Which is a pattern. 
and that patent was called World Order. Listen, World Order 2020-060606A1, all right, which is 666 at the end. And right, even when you say 060606A1, they thought they were slick by adding the A1 in there, but I showed you what it was. Did I not? I explained. I said, they think they slick, but let me show you. And I said, 6A1 is 6 as in the number 6. A is an inverted 6. Okay, the lowercase a is an inverted 6. All right? And the 1 is the letter A. All right? Which is the inverted A. I mean, inverted 6. So 666. Same thing they did with Visa. They tried to be sneaky, but they put V I as 6 and S as the first letter of 6. And A is the inverted 6. So you got to ask Bill Gates, why would he use all them damn 6s in that pattern? With me, what was he speaking on? What was he revealing about it? All right, so he has the number of a man, the number of a beast, okay? But they hiding it, and they don't want people to know that that number has been uh, concealed under 19, okay? Why would they do that? Because you can you can make a whole 19 world dark, or you can make a whole 19 world light. But that's why they said, come out and extol. Oh, secret, oh, hidden secret, come out and extol, all right? Come out, <laughs> reveal, revelation. And in the book of uh, uh, Kurt and they said, this is a book of revelation. They said, it's time to reveal, all right, not conceal. And this nigga's a Muslim and still didn't listen, right? I said, what? This Kappa not only wears, but he also does promote and spread the symbol of illusion and confusion, all right? He also does promote openly the concealing of truths. I tell you, I keep the receipts and all this shit. You motherfuckers be posting this shit. Everything they being slick. I be building files and shit. I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Knowledge has always been hidden. No, it hasn't. <laughs> All right? Knowledge has always been hidden and has never been freely given to society so people can be controlled through ignorance. Now knowledge is freely given because people are too fearful or demoralized to do anything with it. You know what I mean? Do you see the, the, deno uh, the denotation, the connotation? The overlying and underlying, which would be telling the truth. Statement here, hidden, okay? Which means to be covered, all right? Kaffir. But I was saying what at that time? Uh, we need to come out and stop hiding the truth. And I was say, knowledge has always been hidden. Now knowledge is freely given because people are too fearful or demoralized to do anything with it. You know what I'm saying? And that goes both ways too, because you can say uh, uh, they, that people are going to be too afraid so you don't give them the knowledge. Or you can say motherfuckers so afraid so they're just going to give it out. But no, none of those, neither one of these is, is the truth. Okay, especially now when it comes to me, obviously, because you have to have a certain type of bravery to be able to step past even this. Knowledge has always been hidden because how can knowledge always be hidden? You know what I'm saying? How can knowledge always be hidden when there's a black and a white tile on the Masonic chessboard floors? If there's a black and white tile on the Masonic chessboard floors and the black tile stands for hiding something or concealing something and the white tile stands for revealing something, you with me? Then that means that people would have to also be able to reveal. You with me? But again, these people be, they know the truth and they still hide the truth. I said what? All who are of the true light do not follow this calf, uh, the calf of room. That is a mistake. Think about how many feel as though these beings are somehow, some way involved in the ascension process. They are not. Is that not becoming more and more evident by the hour? They have not built anything truthfully, yet they attack and disrespect and disregard the one who has. Why? If we are all one family, as Dr. York taught, then why do they seek to, to keep his face out of the family picture? They are of their father, the devil. That is the answer. They are not a part of the family that Malachi is speaking about. And it does show with all of their lust that they do, these deceivers. As I have taught many times before, do not be deceived. We have come too far. Up the mountain we go, the orators of this world. It is that time, again, to sing the song of truth. Be pure. Activate that the shooter. This will seem as if it is a new song, but very true, I tell you. This song has been around for quite a while. You notice I say very true and not very lie. <laughs> you with me? Tell you the code's being broken in front of you. It's happening now. Very true, I tell you. This song has been around for quite a while. It is not new, only apparently new. Because this world has not seen it 
in its pristine prime purity. Now they will. Have you been keeping your eyes to the skies lately? If you have, you may have noticed that there have been many planes, jets going around spraying X's in the sky all over the U.S. The key here is X marks the spot. Twitter developed a new name, X. The old name, Twitter, was put in place to signify the chirping of birds or the bird song. Right? I said actual Twitter logo, which is the previous logo. Do make and take note of the fact that the word Twitter is only a few letters extensive of the word twit, which is to denote a silly or foolish person. And when the letters T-E-R are added on to twit, you are saying in tone that one has been fooled three times as T-E-R is a word that means thrice or three times. Can't you see the games that are played? How does the old saying go? Fool me once. Y'all listening? Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. Fool me thrice. Shame on both of us. This is only a crafty way to express the idea that if you continue to allow a person to, or people to trick you, you have no one to blame but yourself. Remember, it was written in the Holy Quran that human beings would not even be able to blame the biggest trickster ever, who is the greatest of all times when it comes to deception and illusion. Iblis, Shaitan, the devil. And Satan will say to his followers, after the judgment has been passed, indeed, Allah has made you a true promise. I too made you a promise, but I failed you. I did not have any authority over you. I only called you and responded, and you responded to me. So do not blame me. Blame yourselves. I cannot save you, nor can you save me. Indeed, I denounce your previous association of me with Allah and loyalty. Surely the wrongdoers will suffer a painful punishment. I did indeed let it be known on multiple occasions that the same games would be played in the year 2024. And that game is still charged with the great tools of deception. Only those who have allowed the true light to rule in their lives will be able to see beyond the falsehoods. Throughout the year 2023 and coming into this year 2024, I have been seen wearing a black skull cap with the words defy gravity embroidered in it on the front in green letters. I wonder if people who looked on and beheld this clue have asked themselves why I chose to wear that hat at that moment in time. If they went back and pulled up the music video to my song called Money Change, they would see me wearing that same hat. If they watched on, they would see me get on the elevator and press the button for floor number nine. They may also notice that the light I'm surrounded in by in that elevator is actually blue, not green. Roughly a month after that song and video was released, I informed the people that they should prepare for the green light movement by going out and getting green light bulbs, LED, uh, LEDs, etc. to place in their homes. Then came the science of the green light teaching in November. All right, so the science of the green light broke all that down. Sun luminescence, uh, elevators, green light, uh, the greenhouse effect. Those are greenhouse effect. I called out for all orators to prepare for the new blue sun by joining together to heat up the realm or to speed up their frequencies collectively. I called out for all of the helpers of the light who are the orators or aiders to place in their homes or houses that green light. And this did cause a greenhouse effect, literally. We should look at the read of the greenhouse effect. What is the greenhouse effect? Well, to begin with, what is a greenhouse? A greenhouse is a building that has glass walls and a glass ceiling or roof, I tell you, they don't be known until you read the book. You got to, you know what I mean? You won't really understand it all. Okay, unless you do your own math. But I'll let it be known what's going on and what we're doing. All right? And what's already been revealed. A greenhouse is a building that has glass walls and a glass ceiling roof. Due to the fact that the walls and ceiling are made out of glass, the rays of the sun as sunlight are able to shine into the greenhouse. The heat of the sun is then trapped. So you understand if you went and put green lights in your house, all right, that you participated in the green house effect, all right, which is not a negative effect to us in that regard. You understand? Do you really think it to be an accident or coincidence that the whole concept of the greenhouse effect is based upon not merely something experiencing heat or something being hot, but something being exposed to heat consistently and increasingly? Many of the scientists of this world have been concerned about the greenhouse effect. There are plenty of them predicting that the excessive amounts of GGG, which is global greenhouse gases, and carbon dioxide emissions or CDEs 
from things such as fossil fuels will prove to be the undoing of the sustainability of the home that is the earth world as we know it. See it clearly that the movement that the move the movement that was revitalized through yours truly phase one the green light movement, which has been thoroughly explained by the same in a YouTube video with the uh, with the brother who is called the young elder entitled Science of the Green Light for which the link has been provided above aligns with science. In order to activate the heart chakra, which is that crossroad point that rests in between the lower world and the upper world, one must first be able to ignite or spark or set a fire to or activate the light in the heart. This is the mystical secret or sacred of the true Rosicrucian Rose Cross. I do say true Rosicrucian intently. That word true is not placed before the word Rosicrucian to imply that the Rosicrucian of mention was duly processed into the ancient mystic order of the Rosy Cross. As there still exists a phenomenon that one who has been duly processed or raised in the order may not have actually obtained uh, her or his degrees with, with cognizance or of why those degrees even exist at all. Ergo, they would lack the ability to carry out the works of one who has risen up off of the cross, truthfully. This is ever important to bear in mind as oftentimes one's deep obsession with the idea of there being a part of a secret sacred order quite literally riddled with signs, sig uh, sigils, emblems, allegories, etc. As opposed to their being dedicated to the actual works of a torchbearer, light worker or an activist is evidence that the person did not obtain the light truthfully. And so they do not walk nor work alongside the true Rosicrucians. Make no mistake about it. The magnum opus or the grand work is a reality. There are many of us willing and mystically devoted light workers that yield not to the wind, for it does not sway the holy temple. Listen close. That holy temple is built firmly, a fine house of bricks, and no wind nor the breath of the walls of this world or any of the or of any world otherwise may blow it down. The same goes for the light of our torches. Have you ever seen a fire made of bricks? Behold. For the most persistent huff, surely the most diligent puff could not cause for the blades of the flames to adjust their vertical. Have the wolves who still try mistaken their blades, these blades for those of grass? These blades of flames of the torches of our grass would each, if you were to behold them, place you in the mind of flaming swords. And might you realize that each of these swords of flames have blades of the flame about them? Each of those blades sporting their own flames? And so on evermore eternally, the works of the work will align. Indeed, the magnum opus will be performed. This is a work that we, the willing and the mystically devoted, will all come together to carry out as one. We must learn how to clone that which is the true light as a seed that may grow as a tree towards the heavens forever and ever together. A forest, which is to say, before we rest, we must unify truthfully. Up to this point on the line, which is the break and bridge of a circle with the actual identity that is a sphere with this point as its center, Katub or Kitab, as has not it all been such an adventurous journey? OK, so I go on and break that down. Traveler's story, uh, the limbo, of Harry, uh, Harry and Jim. Uh, how we got a cloning facility inside of our bodies. They clone Tyrone. I go into the science of cloning uh, fans, fanatics and pan addicts. Uh, I go into the letters, break down the layers of the letters so you can see them fully. Uh, da, 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 da. Science of the Pyramid, Truth, Light, and the Way, the story of Hamada. And that story is uh, that you will find that story nowhere else. Let me tell you that. <laughs> okay? The story of Hamada. To the point where I have to come on here and just read that story by itself. All right. But if y'all read that, what y'all thought about the story of Hamada? Let me know. If you already got the book and you already read it. What did you think about it? Did it turn out how you think thought it was going to turn out? Hamada was redeemed. In those days, as Maj did prove worthy. Okay. Da, 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 da. Ignorance is bliss. I know this to be true, as may you. But do you know that intelligence is sorrow? To whom much is given, much is required. Make not the mistake of stepping forth without reason. Never stop asking. Ask until the end. This is the way you will elevate or ascend. I gave you the signs of ask, end, ascend. Ask until the end. Don't stop asking. 
you are centered and now you are now able to and you now are able to stand in the center. Your eye must now prepare to open as you have to be able to center the self in order to access the access the truest lights. Do not forget these keys as these keys I give you will provide you with the proper data. And when you can see, you can finally enter, see, enter, center, enter into the kingdom of God. You go through the center. X marks the spot. Look at the center X and you will see, look at the letter X and you will see that there are four arrows pointing toward the center. You see them? All right. If you look at the white spaces between the, the uh, lines of the X, you'll see four arrows pointing into the center. X marks the spot, which is the center. You were to meet me at the crossroads where we would all stand together on that mountaintop so you wouldn't be lonely. Somebody, somebody say, I see what you did there. You didn't type it. Think of the song and music video performed by Bone Thugs and Harmony, the rap music group of old. All right. You see that mountain and you see them people in all white going up that mountain. Notice that the people who are taking that walk up the mountain are in their all white garb, just as the 144,000 was said to be required to be garbed in as the all white garment or raiment is symbolic of purity. It is the same color that the angels appear in. It is the same color that the Holy City appeared to John in, in the book of Revelation chapter 21, verse two. All right. The holy city has also been called Planet X. Another name for it is called Nibiru and means transitional point or crossing as in a crossroad. Here is a code breaker. Flip the word Nibiru around and you end up with the word Ori Ben, which is to say Ori or Ori or Or, light and Ben, sun. That light is likened unto the sun and the golden disc and the sun word is to say a child of someone. And so this would be saying the child of the sun or the child of the golden one, or the golden child. There was a movie that came out in 1986 entitled The Golden Child. In the movie, the dark forces were trying to eliminate the chosen one. Listen, they imprisoned him and tried to kill him by causing him to eat a bowl of oatmeal with blood in it. They also had to place him in the middle of an X surrounded on all four corners with evil to try and confine him. All right. Actual image from the Golden Child movie. See how these in bars? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. This is the same thing they did to Dr. Melakazi York. They did not succeed in the film. They will not succeed in real life. There is no stopping us now. We are on the move. We are polishing up our act and moving together finally. Welcome aboard, reader. You are who we have been waiting for for so long. You are not by yourself. On April 4th of 2024, we will have all gathered together to tune as one, a harmonic convergence. This will be right on cue with the planetary alignment of Venus, Neptune, Saturn, and Mars. And it will occur right before the total solar eclipse of April 8th, 2024, where it is clear that the X is very significant as the paths of totality from the previous eclipse of 2017 and the eclipse of 2024 overlap and form an X. You cannot think this to be an accident. The X lands directly at the base of Illinois. And this word does mean best people. Another way of saying elect. Illy means right there in that place. Did I not remind you that X marks the spot? Before you even seen this image. <laughs> right? Boom. All you elect who are in attendance, here is your task. Or you will hear of it. We will all stand outside no matter where we are at 7.04 in the a.m. And we will sing the first sound of the three-part harmony, Aum, the sound of the newborn, Ah. We will do this all together as we walk through the gate, that gate of 7 plus 4 equals 11. Remember, that 11 is a gate. All right? And on the wedding of the Lamb song, what did I say? Bring them through the gate. All right? From 704 to 711, we will produce the sound of awe all together, envisioning a world full of green light. At 711, this will be will all be done in the AM. We will all prostrate. We will place our foreheads to the ground. And I say to you, you are to stay there as long as you can or as long as you feel the need to. And that work will be done. Don't let anyone 
say that we cannot change this world together. Very true. I tell you, we have already changed the world. The music is changing. People are starting to realize who phase one is and what he has come to do, which is bring order and remind people about the true light. And yes, the truest lights. I had a conversation with a young brother who is not much younger than I am as he is 19 years old. And I write these words at age 25. He is a rap artist called Anti Menace. I stepped forth and called him out in his comments on Instagram after coming across his music and the message was murderous. He ended reaching, he ended up reaching out to me via Instagram DM and we had a phone call about the matter. He explained that his OG had put him on to my music and that he understood what I was saying and that he gets it. I told him I would pardon him for a time as to say he was reprieved. If you understand, I asked him to remember about that conversation and that I would be watching. I asked him to give the world a song that was not destructive in nature. It was clear to me that his soul could hear me. We will see if he will be able to turn around. He should turn around while he can. Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. He is still a big artist in Atlanta, which is Atlantis. The devils will rush to use him up and exploit his amber light as they are desperate at this point because they hear loud and clear the voice of God. And it is coming from phase one of Atlantis. Again, we will see. Don't we always see? Send green light to this young brother. It is clear to me that Shaitan has grabbed his soul. We call him home. He is a warrior. I have the power and the authority to reform and to redeem. Imagine what happens when we are all able to align these soldiers with a righteous cause. Nothing is impossible. Either way, everyone must come home. It is that time to prepare to speed up your molecular structure to the point of evaporation. Yes, this is an Eve operation, as Eve does mean living. Eve operation. Listen, bringing someone from the solid state of the materialistic plane to the gases, Jesus or etheric state of the godly being is a living work. Is it not the same work of God from the beginning? Indeed, it is. Pay attention to your son and how they are marking X's over it. Be one with the sun, children of the sun, children of the light. Be ready for the activation of the blue light, which will be called the true blue movement or Project Blue Beam. The blue light activation will come in with the sun on June 20th of 2024. Behold, new blue sun. Purity, divine truth. Who are the 144,000? Are you up the chosen ones? You are the elect. You are the president, precedent, and precedence. It does not matter if they put Trump back in office or if they put Robert Kennedy Jr. No, I mean Robert Kennedy Jr. in office. This is your world. Elect yourself. It is only time. You are in the ninth hour. I say to be ready, yet I know that you are ready. We are ready. Until we speak again. Rita, I love you. Right? I put the footprints in the sand image. Images of the land, Tom Ray. Image of the living Messiah, Yeshua. And you see it says what? Peace in the lab is truly wonderful. Green, blue, purple. All right? Climb up the ladder. You'll see what we're doing. Okay? So, of course, we didn't read the whole thing. Because there's other stuff in between that we didn't really read. But this is the book. X marks the spot. And as you can see, it is loaded. <laughs> All right. So I don't think anybody who was listening to that was thinking to themselves, you know what I'm saying? This isn't, this isn't beneficial. <laughs> I didn't need this message. <laughs> I mean, unless, of course, you was the Sweet Roots or Lightweight Fan Page or whoever the hell else, 1317 Connor Drive, <laughs> whoever these people be. <laughs> you know what I mean? Facts is loaded. It's a holy scroll. A lot of information. A lot of codes being decoded. I didn't get to the uh, Andre 3000 part in there. I did get to the 
Golden Child, Soldier Anti Anti Diminished. You see Twenty One Savage. Uh, all the letters, Twenty One Savage, Letter Little Baby, and Sexy Red. They in there. I talked about Young Boy in there. Uh, Twitter, I broke that down. The music, I broke that down. Okay, climbing that ladder, everlasting life will pass you by if you don't climb. Okay, all that's broken down. The new blue sun. Okay, the craft that uh, these people come and speak through. Okay, like they showed you in the book of Mark. All right. Uh, X mark the spot. You realize it's a solar eclipse right there. A total uh, solar eclipse. If you can see that. All right. With an unk around it. You also see a rope right here. Okay. You see these people over here. All right. You see the base in the treble clef. Well, really, it's the bass clef. Get it? Yeah, it's the bass clef. You see the bass clef and the uh, Fibonacci sequence and how they align with each other. Right? The white house with the green light over it. The greenhouse effect. Y'all with me? Okay, Tom and Ray. So, yeah. There's one for the books. Literally. <laughs> All right. So before we get up out of here, anybody got any questions? If you want that book, X mark the spot. Again, everybody be trying to say, bro, I will get on here and read my whole book. <laughs> you know what I mean? They, I could just, they eat popcorn. I could just sat for the damn audiobook. I'll get on here and read my book, bro. I ain't scamming nobody out no damn money about no book. I just want people to think what we thinking and hear how we hearing. Speak how we speaking. That's what I want. So if you want that book, and all other 10 books. So it's 11 books altogether. Okay, that book plus 10 books. If you want those books, send a donation to Play for Change Cash App and send your email. So you'll have it on file. you have it for yourself. Uh, like I said, y'all can do whatever y'all want to do with these damn books. <laughs> okay, you get your books. You can send them around. I just see people do some of everything with these books. Okay, people done, uh, printed them out, made copies. Okay, I wouldn't be surprised somebody come out with hard copies of these books. <laughs> you know what I mean? Listen. Do it now while it ain't, you know, it ain't no strict shit going on. Do everything you can and get these books out. Get this get this stuff all around to the people. You know what I mean? Anybody got any questions before, before I get up out of here? Yeah, it's all digital, PDFs. I thought about doing a copy, you know what I'm saying, like of each book, one copy of each book and selling it for like $9.99. You know what I mean? And signing it. I thought about doing that. Maybe. Maybe not. But maybe I'll do a, like one copy or a few copies of like each book. And like do them for like nine ninety nine. Other than that, it's like that's only if you want like the keepsake. <laughs> the actual book. Say, no, I actually got that book. He didn't have them books. He 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 only made one of them. He, I got that book. You know what I mean? You'll be able to say that 10, 20, 30 years from now. Right? That's what you want to do. Uh, other than that, all this shit is PDFs. What's the top scriptures we should read from Dr. Definitely the Holy Tablets. Hands down, hands up. Uh, the Holy Tablets. Dr. York, the Holy Tablets. You should find it on PDF. Uh, on Scribd. S-C-R-I-B-D. The Holy Tablets. And then all the other books, anything. Just find out different titles, topics that you're interested in. You got a book on it. <laughs> You want to learn about shoes? He got a book called Shoes. Not just playing. But yeah, he, he got a million books. But start with the Holy Tablets. He talk about every damn thing. What do the planets align in me? It mean, it mean they aligning. <laughs> I promise you this. This is me. Well, from, yeah, they're aligning. They're lining up on the same side of the, of the sun that Tiamat or Artador Earth is. This isn't a uh, full planetary alignment, though. It's only four, interestingly enough. All right, one for each corner. All right, so it's not all of them. What you got? Ne oh, what is it? Uh, Mars, Mercury, Venus, and Neptune. I think the only one people ain't going to be able to see is uh, Venus. I mean, uh, Neptune. Neptune going to be real hard to see. You'll need like a telescope, they were saying, to see that. But we will be in alignment during that alignment with four heavenly bodies on our side, literally on our side. Are you hearing me? So, yeah, it's what, a, what a year. What a year this is going to be. And our year is actually going to spark off at April 1st. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why I said, let them think, let, let them, let them think I'm laughing. 
Let them think. Let them think so. It's going to be amazing. Why do I never go at Eminem? Um, I'm actually trying to, like, get in, like, the door. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> I'm trying to get in the damn door. Like, the hell? I don't want no problem with that uh, Mukasu. <laughs> I don't want no problem with that white boy. <laughs> Ain't that shit of me. <laughs> I don't want no smoke with that nigga, bro. What the hell? I rebuke that. I rebuke that. This is the only nigga I seen get better <laughs> over time. I, I'm I'm pretty sure that you know what I mean. Rap God was ahead of his time. This nigga got better than Rap God. So only reason why I'm able to be that damn fire is because of this nigga. I show up thinking I'm ready. This nigga gonna pull out a whole other. I was waiting on this guy. <laughs> he got a whole another ten years of cultivation that he been hiding and shit. Whole another level of fucking. Fast that niggas didn't even know niggas could do. He got a built-in two-timer. Hell no. Nah. You go at him. <laughs> you go at him. Nigga, going at him is the last resort because you're going to get publicity, nigga. But, but that, you don't want to go. You, that, ain't, that ain't how you want to go in. And that ain't how you want to go out. <laughs> so, no, bro. What the hell? You ain't trying to get me. He's trying to set me up. That was a setup. So, you know, you should do a letter to Eminem. What? <laughs> huh? That's suicide. <laughs> That'd be the last resort, though. All jokes aside, I'd be like, fuck this shit. And that nigga Eminem. <laughs> Everybody be like. <gasps> <laughs> nigga gonna start slowly just escaping. Walking away from me. Where are you going? I go hear his thud, thud, thud. <laughs> I'm not fucking around with that boy. Nah, really with the NJ Key, uh, NGK thing, Machine Gun Kelly, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I was watching that shit. I think I was in high school still. But I was confused. Because he, he did Rap God, that shut everything down. Then this nigga MGK do rap devil. He would pull the light. He would pull the comeback harder than even rap God. But I don't know. I guess they don't think he had to. That was a little, that was a little different. Cause MGK did his shit. You know what I mean? But I was like, wait a minute, what did I just witness? <laughs> did I live to see the day? But it's like, it's not because the nigga not capable. It's like, why he didn't, why he didn't go harder? I don't know why he didn't do that. But I guess he didn't think he had to shit. But I mean, I mean, shit, if anybody would, <laughs> you know I would. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If anybody could, you know I could. So shit, I don't know. But I got respect for the nigga Eminem for the mechanics that he gave the fucking game that everybody using that's trying to be like on that level. But don't nobody want to give him any props. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think nobody out rapping that nigga, bro. I just don't think nobody out rapping that man. Like, if he really want to, like, he be doing that shit just to do that shit. Like, then he be so slick with the shit, you got to listen again and again and again. Be like, wait a minute, bro. This simple-ass line, and this nigga done said three different things in this one simple-ass line that I thought was simple. So, yeah, I'm telling you, I learned from him. The hell? I don't think it's impossible. I'm just saying, bro. Why y'all niggas try, this nigga try to get rid of me early? Oh, wait, ain't you the rapper that Eminem had? No, bro. No, bro. No, bro. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not the rapper that Eminem destroyed. Damn. <laughs> That's one way to end your shit before you even get that shit started, bro. Because one thing about that nigga, he will respond to you. <laughs> He'll respond to you. Don't nobody even know who we talk about. Then nigga go, next thing you know, you the nigga that Eminem took out. That's your career. That's life for you now. People are like, oh, you, whatever Eminem named this the song, that's going to be your name. We ain't doing that. Yeah, Cash App is, um, is the, uh, I think it's the same thing. Play for change. Yeah. If, uh, not Cash App, the, uh, PayPal. PayPal is, uh, play for change. 
get uh, get in touch with Mrs. Faye. She telling y'all, get in touch with her, and she'll set y'all up with it or rise y'all up with it. Yeah, he ain't just let Brinzino breathe. That shit he just did or whatever that lemonade shit is. I was listening to that shit. I didn't even know what was going on. I didn't know the nigga was beefing. Next thing I know, the nigga said something about what's the, what's the opposite of Benzino? The nigga said a giraffe. I'm like, what? I don't get it. But then he said, how I'm going to go for a net? He says, shit he don't have. I said, oh, shit. Wait a minute. <laughs> he talking about the nigga don't got no neck. But he said all these different words to say that shit, bro. Yeah, I ain't doing that. <laughs> you know I thought about it, too. You know, you got to know I thought about it. It been plenty of time I thought about that shit. I mean, pit of the pen, it wouldn't move. <laughs> it wouldn't move. Even the pen was like, bro, what, what are you doing? Like, what do you think we're doing, Nick? We're going to make it by any means necessary, but not by these means. <laughs> what do you mean these means? <laughs> the pen going to run out of ink and shit. Bro, what are you doing? You just had ink. I don't got ink. <laughs> I don't got ink. I'm reaching for other pens. He's speaking for them. They don't got ink either. <laughs> Come on, y'all. <laughs> Rolling off the damn table and shit. Notepad didn't want to work. Kept undoing itself. I'm like, this nigga's a glitch. <laughs> I ain't doing that shit, bro. I thought about this shit, though. I thought about this shit when I was younger. I said, I'm going to come at Eminem. Nobody encouraged me. <laughs> Nobody was like, shit, yeah, yeah, you right, too. Everybody did a little drink thing. With they kind of like hold the drink up to you a little bit and sip. Nobody had no words for me and shit. I feel all small. I might have my back on that shit because they not pulled my back on that shit. That's stupid. That's dumb. Would you say in rap, the art of storytelling has been replaced with diss records? Huh? <laughs> Who sent you? <laughs> what, what kind of question is that? What are you talking about? Is that a trick question? <laughs> Maybe sending these reporters in here. Would you say you do taxes? <laughs> you would just think about that shit? Would you say you do taxes? <laughs> I love taxes. What are you talking about? Taxes is, is amazing. It's great. It's something that they should have thought about earlier. I, I, listen, y'all think I'm joking. People literally came on and said, what do you think about taxes? <laughs> I said, what the fuck? They ain't even hiding that shit. Like, what the hell? Literally look like the feds. Got on a khaki damn shirt. <laughs> would, I say that ra would I say that real storytelling has been replaced with diss records? No, I wouldn't. You, I, I wouldn't say that. Why? But why would anybody say that other than they sent you, didn't they? They sent you. They said, "Ask the nigga, ask the nigga this." <laughs> I'm not dissing people, bro. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. Everybody trying to act like I'm writing letters to this. I know how to diss. Now, what I can say, right? I'll tell y'all this. I put y'all on about this. I just did a um. I don't even know if I'm going to call it Letter to Baby Kia, right? But I just did a song called Baby Kia. And I don't know, motherfucker might not take too kindly to that song. Because it ain't even, I'm not even like, you know what I mean? You can't approach demons like that. <laughs> like that. Like that motherfucker really trying to be like one of them, like Shaitan children for real. Oh, I said, the song's like, who demon sees at ease? You know what I'm saying? How <laughs> I come in, who demon sees at ease? You know what I mean? Let go and clean them up. What you talking about? Yeah. So then maybe, yeah, maybe I can say, I know how to diss. I, I can diss, okay? I can diss if I want to diss. But these letters ain't no disses. These letters is a call to action. You know what I mean? These letters are petitions. All right? <laughs> Sit down from the Lord himself. Okay? They're petitions. Calling all stars. But I don't know what going on with the baby kid, nigga. We don't know where that came from, but uh, yeah, I had to remind his ass. I might read some of this shit to y'all just so y'all can have it before we get up out of here. Because y'all know me. I don't mind doing that shit. I ain't going to run out of shit. What, what the shit at? I don't even got it on here, do I? No, I don't got it on here. I don't got it on here. It's on this phone. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> basically I was like, bro, what you know about what you know about what you know about demons? Like, what you know about demons, Kia? What you know about hell? I said, what you know about hell, boy? I said they strain you up. I said they they um I said they strain you up 
I said they chain you up. They chain you up and skin your ass alive. You can't even yell, boy. Right? I'm talking about what's really going on beneath folk feet. And he's talking about he ready to go to hell and shit. But y'all niggas do not know what y'all talking about. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we're going to have to get on that one. I don't know where them niggas coming from. But, nah. I think because everybody, okay, they, they see I, I, I had eased up because... They started bowing out, so I eased up. I ain't no bully. Oh, they don't know I might they don't know I'll get active again. They don't know I'll do that shit all over again. They don't know that. <laughs> like, bro, I will hex the fuck out of that industry all over again. And the independent ones. You don't even gotta be a part of the industry. I will hex the fuck out of these niggas. They think they think it's a fucking game. I will I will instruct the earth, like I said, to open up and swallow these people whole. And she'll do it. You know what I mean? Drain your blood over and over. Yeah, I was, listen, these motherfuckers is devils. All right, gins. They don't give a fuck about your feelings or none of that. And who you think you... That's why I said, damn, you fell for the... Yeah, I did right in the middle of the shadow. <laughs> yep. That's why I threw my voice out, by the way. Quiet is kept, but loud is revealed. <laughs> I threw my voice out right in that letter to baby kid. I was sending that shit. I'm like, bro, what the hell? Every time I'm popping around these motherfuckers. What? Like, mm-mm. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Whole new lineup, whole new faces. I'll do that shit again, boy. They don't know. And the sun finna come out. Wrong time to be fucking around. Wrong time. But yeah. All right, y'all. So yeah, baby kid might be on the way soon. Soon my voice can get back together. I get in the studio. Letter to T.I. That's still on the way. The video and the song. There's more shit on the way, y'all. We're wrapping up the last days of the fundraiser. So if you want to bless or uh, uh, give more, not even just be less, but if you want to give more uh, to the uh, uh, 144,000 riser or 144K riser, Chrysler, okay, then send a donation to that play for chain. Da 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 da. Whoop the whoop. Uh, yo, man, just just thank you. I only, I'm not even going to keep saying that shit. Like, all right. So just thank y'all for like, this should have been amazing. All right. Y'all done looked out for me for so long. Okay. At this point, you don't owe me shit. All right. You never did owe me anything. All right. You just took it upon yourself to help me. Right. And this is, I, I, look, I say it's no, it's no label that's bigger than the people. It's no label bigger than the people. You with me? Imagine being able to ask uh, 50 million people to put forth $1,000 and they do it or $100 and they do it and you're able to use that, to, you know what I mean, to take things to a whole other level. A label can't do that. They don't have that amount. You know what I mean? But telling the people, like, how are we going to do it? We're doing a million-dollar fundraiser this year. Y'all know that, right? Okay? Listen, as quickly as we was able to pop up on this 144000 fundraiser and get active, all right, it's going to be even quicker because it's going to be sped up. For the million dollar fundraiser. Alright? That's gonna be a whole movement. Alright? So I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Okay, they go to they go to cash out for the books. The sister Mrs. Faze, let it be known that y'all uh that there's a play for change uh PayPal if you're out of the States. And I, I thank y'all. All right. Shout out to y'all for even you know what I'm saying rocking with the movement that's in a whole different continent. You know what I'm saying? A whole different country. All right and supporting i thank y'all for that i'm grateful for that okay uh we ain't finished we keep going all right i think what you mean to say is why do <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah why do peace in the lamb is truly wonderful